Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to my latest obsession. We're back with some more Icarus tonight. We're headed back to the planet to do another mission. I've been kind of making some decent progress, I feel like. I mean, we're not playing this every night, although i played it a bunch. But we're level 30 now, and uh, we've advanced enough missions forward that we're starting to get into some of the more tricky stuff. Uh, we have... Uh, they've, they've done a lot of changes to the uh, the mission board. There's some new ones now that are like hardcore versions of the missions. So, like, I did this one here. You can see the little check mark at the bottom. When it was the only option, Kill the Six Termination was like its own standalone mission and there was nothing beyond it. But they've got like different levels of difficulty now on a few of these missions, which is kind of cool. Uh, but we've gone down here, and last time we were playing last night with Nate, uh, we completed this Deep Vein Extraction mission, which apparently makes exotics available on other missions now. So when I complete those, I can find them and harvest them with my, uh, my fancy pickaxe. So I'm hoping we can uh, start to, to pack away some more uh, some more exotics so we can use to buy some stuff. But uh, the mission we're going to tackle today is this one here, Searchlight Scan. We're headed back to the Arctic to play with the bears. Because you can never have enough polar bears, except when they're chewing on your face. And then that's maybe a little bit too much. But welcome in who's here in the chat so far. Or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. Uh, as always, a big thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. I do appreciate the support. And a special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Are Made members. Uh, but... Big thanks also to everyone who's just clicked on that uh, subscribe button to become a channel subscriber. I really do appreciate all of you. It's because of all of your support. We're up over 100,000 now. It's amazing. Ashley with a super chat. Here's to wildlife fund. Here, polar bears, polar bears. Fresh fox. Oh, thanks, Ashley. And we probably don't need the Bramlin to have them meet me. For prospecting. So they're looking for terrain scans before they start dropping folk out of the sky. Sound like you? Thank you, Fox. Hope you and your family are well. Happy Christmas to y'all. Thanks, Bobster. Merry Christmas to you, too. Only, like, what is it, six days away now, I guess? Uh, we're gonna claim this prospect. Uh, I think I get... Yeah, okay, I do get to do the, the loadout here. So I have, uh, I still have the Tier 1 Axe and Pickaxe, and then my little uh, Mass Dampener module that gives me increased movement speed, and then the base suit. I did make a decent amount of money off of the last, um, the last mission that we had. Uh, last night with Nate, but it wasn't quite enough to get what I want. I'm trying to unlock this canteen that I can bring with me so that I don't have to try to like waste time and resources building one because you have to get the steel to make the canteen in order to have something to carry around for water that doesn't leak really bad. So if we can get our hands on one of those that we can bring with us on missions, that would certainly be helpful. Yeah, six days to Christmas, five days to panic. I'm not ready. <laughs> Fortunately, my wife does most of the Christmas shopping. There's not really that much I end up doing myself. Um, otherwise, I'd be we'd be in a lot of trouble because we would have just the worst Christmas ever. But oh, at 7:30, thought it was dark. <laughs> yeah. But they can't yeah, it's, do it alone. It's not morning yet. They need detailed Where are we? Data from this region if they're going to open it up to prospecting. But they want to fill the place with drop ships, if you know what I mean. So, grab a radar, check your map for locations, and head out. Alright, this is a bit, a bit of a different drop-off point. They didn't park us next to a lake this time. Uh, at least it doesn't look like it. There might be one. No, there's not one down here. So, it looks like the uh, the thing we have to pick up, the scanner, is actually in the Arctic biome, judging by the, the snow over here. So, we're going to have to try to find a decent place to build uh, that's going to give us access to water and stuff. First time I think we've dropped in and had no water nearby, except for that one mission we had in the uh, in the beta that was kind of like that. I'm trying to quickly grab some resources and make a bow first, I think. Just in case there's wolves or bears around here, I'd, I'd like to at least be armed in some manner. My wife does almost look Christmas shopping too. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I buy uh, I generally do Christmas presents for uh, for my mom and for my wife, and uh, my wife tackles almost everything else. Not that she's happy about it, but she's very good at it. Not only am I excited to watch you, both my corgis like to watch your gameplay too. <laughs> That's awesome, Crystal. <laughs> Entertaining pets since uh, 2015. Even my own dog won't watch my content. She just sleeps in the, in the on a giant teddy bear behind me. <laughs> All right, bow is going to be my first priority, uh, so let's get that taken care of. What am I lacking here? Branches. Got to get more branches so we can get more bows. Or more arrows, rather.
This pickaxe is better reserved for metals and stuff, but it's good for starting up, I guess. A little, little burst of speed into our uh, gathering process. Uh, let's eat some berries. Oh, I don't have my uh, my module in for faster movement. Let's do that. Actually, if we chop a tree down, that will uh, give us some stick acceleration, too. Found a new enemy, Sharknado! It takes so much longer to ch chop the stumps out. I was talking to my son, he told me he uh, bought himself something. It's what I bought him for Christmas. Oh, no! <laughs> That's the trouble with buying anything for yourself shortly before Christmas. Because you might be circumventing someone's gift. Oh, Grumpy, you're gonna make yourself. Um, I'm not sure. I So, in reading the mission summary, it did say that um, we should be prepared for um, increased weather activity, but also increased animal activity. Um, and so, I'm, I'm, the increased animal activity makes me think we're probably gonna want to go with a rifle this time around, um, just in case we have to defend the scanning area, because we have to scan like three different spots, and and if we don't defend it. You know, then it's going to have a hard time succeeding at the mission. So we'll probably build up to the point where we can get, uh, get get a rifle or something. Um, now I can't get the hunting rifle yet. It's um, it's tier four. Oh, I have access to tier four now. We hit level thirty. Uh, so we might be able to get the hunting rifle. Unlock the fabricator. The hunting rifle is uh, somewhere. I thought I thought the hunting rifle was tier four. Oh, there it is. Hunting rifle. There we go. So we could get access to the hunting rifle now, uh, which would be great because it is so much better at dealing with uh, with bears than the uh, the bolt action rifle that we had. All right, I need to uh, I need to find some water. I don't know where to go. I guess we'll try. We'll check over here. Single shot rifle will do you just fine. Well, the trouble is polar bears. Like we could make do with the single shot rifle, but if we can make the uh, the hunting rifle, it's so much more effective against polar bears. I don't have to work tomorrow because I'm on holidays now too, so I might even what the? How are you not dead? Now you're dead. That's better. Like crit the guy like right in the face even. I need a hunting knife. It's getting knife. Whatever. Mating of cryptic and bears is delicious combination. I will not be mating with any bears, but uh, thanks for the thought. <laughs> I don't really swing that way, you know. Just it's uh, they're not really my particular predilection. It's a wolf. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure the bears are nice and all, but it's not into all that fur. Your kids so over Christmas, man. My kids are so into Christmas. They've been counting down the days for the last month and a half. <laughs> How many arrows have I got? Four. We're probably gonna want to make more. Oh, I can make these already. All right, let's go with some bone arrows. Cause I don't know why not. Just in case I run into something dangerous, I guess. It's Pumba. You gotta put your past in the behind. Uh, you're pretty good with the bow. Well, we have the uh, they have the kill cam back on, so that um, that is uh, it is an aim assist feature. You tend to hit some shots that um, you might not hit otherwise. I turned it off for a little while. I was still hitting some good shots, but definitely the longer shots. That was a bear. Uh, definitely the longer shots become more challenging when. Uh, When you're farther away. There's the bear. Um, this is not the best bow to be dealing with a bear. Are we ready to be dead, like, right off the bat? I mean, this would probably give me a good a good amount of fur, but... <laughs> we have the cheaty cam... Yeah, we have the cheaty cam back on. That's what it's called. That's the technical term for it. Cheaty cam. Could possibly just sneak by this thing, but... Is it laying down? Is that bear napping? I think it is. I might have to sneak by it. I don't even know if there's water in this direction.
Oh, there's a wolf. Let's get that. He's taking a lot of nap. <laughs> I mean, on the plus side, we're getting uh, we're getting some fur right away, but uh, I broke my knife. But the lack of water right off the bat, not so great. Um, I don't know if I want to mess with that bear right now. There is water this way, though. I can see it there. All right, I guess we're going this way. Hey, you bear! Oh, this is gonna suck. I shouldn't be. Sh I shouldn't fight this guy. I should just skip him. And I missed. Oh, that was close. <laughs> that took a few more shots than I might have liked. We got him, though. That could have gone very poorly. I don't even have a food buff right now. We're okay. We lived. Victory for the little guy. <laughs> Not that everyone didn't want to see me die right there, but, I mean, that would have been a rough way to start. Now, let's get out of here. We'll find some water. Start building our shelter. Ooh, there's a cave right here, too. That's handy. Looks like a big one. So, I know we're moving away from the thing we actually need to pick up to do the scanning, but... Um, the scanning points aren't actually marked on the map right now, either. So I'm just gonna go to build where uh, where it's easiest, where there's water. <clears throat> there's cave water. Oh yeah, there, oh yeah, there is cave water. We could do. Eh, hmm, yeah, that's fine. I'll build out here. We're gonna build this little outcrop out here. Actually, this we built here before. Like during the beta, I built a base out this way. On this little little uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, Promen I don't know, promenatory or something? And anyway, whatever. We built a thing out here. It worked good. You say rough start, we say most fun start. Alright. <laughs> hey, look at that. We're respawning again, right off the bat. Hooray! Jetty? I, I don't know what to call it. It's like a little outcropping almost. I don't know. Whatever. I wonder what kind of weather we'll get this mission. Last mission we had like crazy amounts of storms and stuff. What will this one be like? It did say to prepare for adverse weather, but I'm kind of assuming they mean like when you're out doing the actual mission as opposed to like getting set up. Uh, I need piles of junk. This stuff. Come on. There we go. Did you unlock anything with your skill points in the workshop, or did you store all of them? Uh, you mean for the, the money? No, I kept the money. Uh, I had uh, 325, I think, in total. Maybe it was 325, maybe it was 225. I can't remember exactly how much I had, but what I, what I wanted to get was the canteen. I had enough I could unlock it from a research perspective, but not enough that I could craft it, so I just didn't spend any of it. Held on to it for now, and when we go back, we can, uh, we can figure out what I'm going to spend it on, I guess. Yeah, as I was saying, though, I don't have work tomorrow, so I may end up streaming late tonight, too. We'll see what happens. I don't have to be up early, so I'm going to do what I want. House made of piles of wood. I bet you it's stormproof. <laughs> Maybe not lightningproof, though. Getting a carambit knife and a hoodie for yourself. What's a carambit knife and hoodie? Am I out of touch? Stamina depleted. Alright. 
I think I probably have enough wood harvested now. It's just be a question of whether I have enough, uh, actually. Let's say whether I have enough fiber, but I can make the, uh, little sickle thing right away. Where's my wood pile thing? Oh yeah, ten piles should be plenty. We don't gotta, we don't gotta go crazy here, you know. Well, maybe a little crazy. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Now that I just put all those down, I'm gonna pick some up. <laughs> Alright, uh, uh, I think if we start with, let's see, um, if it's four, well, if I do three across, I'm gonna need four posts for each row. Three by three would be 12, and another three would be 15, so I could do, uh, like a front porch on this thing. I'm gonna make, like, 15 of these. See if I can get them to just kind of snap in a direction that I want. Come on. Oh, that was already in the right spot. I needed not three, it was four I needed for the last row. IR math. <laughs> Good thing my company relies on me for math. <laughs> Alright, I need, uh, I'm gonna need like, oh, watermelons right here. Sweet. Uh, I'm gonna need 12 floor pieces now. Um, now this I may not have enough wood on me. Oh, I do not. There's a wolf though. Flat. Don't have a wife, so you're happy all the time. That's not how this works. Fox will do what Fox wants, whether Mrs. or me, Mr. Fox is the question. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I will do what the Mrs. wants probably more often than not. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's more likely to, to result in my, my not being in trouble, you know? You know, there's a set of four pillars if you want a three by four. I'm doing a three by, uh, wait, no, I should have enough. Let me, oh, wait a minute. Oh, you might be right. Shoot, hold on. I gotta double check it. Because I forgot I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need the posts on both sides, but we'll find out in a second whether I screwed up the count. Make a longhouse, even like a uh, like a like a uh, Viking longhouse kind of thing. I mean, because I built it up here, this isn't really a good place for that kind of thing. One, two, three. You're right. I do need another row. Well, I'll be easy enough at it, at least. There we go. Now we need floors. Ah, I still don't have enough wood on me because I use it for posts. There we go. Make a quadrilateral house. <laughs> Y'all getting fancy? Uh, I'm sorry, we've decided to develop the the, uh, the Pentagon in uh, in Icarus. It's, it's going to be a long stream. There'll be a lot of building. I just put a piece, like, in the ground. That's great. That's a waste of resources, isn't it? Can I break that thing? Doesn't look like it. I can't look at the one that's in the ground in order to break it, but if there's one that's snapped into the bottom of one of these posts. <laughs> that's great. It's there for, like, home insurance purposes. Don't ask me what that means, I don't really know. Let's make a geodesic dome. Y'all are too fancy for me, man. Alright, I need, uh, I need 12 wall pieces. 
Of which I don't have enough wood. All right. Man, I, I kind of thought the uh, 10 stacks of wood I gathered were going to be plenty, but I'm starting to think I'm not sure if that's going to be enough now. Because I want to build, like, uh, crafting benches and everything right away, too, if we can. Well. The one four pieces rotated differently makes your eye switch. Which one? Oh, this one here? That's decorative. That's a decorative floor piece. Just because you don't like it, though, I'm going to rotate it. There you go. <laughs> uh, Alright, I got my 12 of these. I'm thinking I'm going to put... Uh, let's do, like, a corner window down here. Not because we have to, but just because we can. It'll give us a nice overlook over the pond. Do the same thing on this side. Be like symmetrical like almost. How's the weather always have to start like right away? Ah! It's not bad. Oh, it did it again. As soon as I went to put it down, it flipped. Oh my god. Make the bad man stop. Okay. We're gonna go a little over the top of their build today. I'm gonna make this a two-story one. Because I'm always running out of room for stuff, so why not, right? Why not, I say. How am I feeling? Not bad. How are you feeling? Carabin knife has a curved blade that's uh, sharp on the inside, and the hoodie is an orange alpha industries. Okay. Again, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> That all sounds like gibberish to me, but sure. Uh, I need 11 pieces for the second floor. 11 floor pieces. Which I don't have enough. Gotta go chop grass. <sighs> yeah, I like the corner window pieces too, they're cool. I, I got a log that is laying down. I was like, hey, can I harvest this thing? Oh, because it's a tree. That might be why. Who knew? Amount of stamina. Probably a decent amount of fiber for now, I think. I think you spent too much time in the stumps. Uh, not you, but the, the game. Oh, yeah. Well, it does take longer to chop a stump out, so I see why they made it take longer. But, yeah. It is one of those things, too, where you could probably skip it, and it's not really going to hurt it. Wow, my inventory's full. Uh, alright. That's a problem. Um, uh, I guess I should craft some storage. Well, actually, I'll do my crafting bench right now, because I'm going to need it anyway. You have 225 points. You need 250 for the game. Oh, yeah, it was 225. That's what it was. Thank you. I knew it was, it was either... I knew it was either, like, 300 or 200 or something. Anyway. It was in the right general ballpark. <laughs> uh, floor. I need 11, 11 floor pieces. Well, that's crafting. I'm gonna put uh, um, some stuff in here for storage, I guess. Stone, leather, fur. Ooh, I've already got enough for a sleeping bag. That's good. I guess running into that bear right off the bat wasn't such a bad thing. Those are running different directions. That's gonna bother you people. It's wrong. Okay. I need more than the two I just crafted with these poles, but we'll see. Nope, that works. There we go. 
Any dead dupes? <laughs> yeah, none yet. <laughs> we survived our first bear, so that, um, even that went all right. Uh, rotate. There we go. Now we need more walls again, which is going to take more wood. I feel like I should have chopped more trees down. That's what I get for starting with a big building right away. Did not start with big buildings. This is a complete waste of my time. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because I can. It's my game. I'll play if I want to. Oh, I should probably drink water too. That's why I came over here. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to leave the stumps for now. They take too long to chop. I've always waited the time making it bigger later anyways. This is true. Yeah, if I if I don't ha if I don't make enough what the come on if I don't make it big enough for all the benches I'm gonna want to craft I'm gonna have to make it bigger anyway so I guess we'll do it wrong right off the bat instead of later. You can harvest these things underwater. That's funny. Sort of unrealistic, but I'll take it anyway. Never waste time if you're enjoying yourself. I kind of agree. I mean, it's it's unfortunate it all it's gonna reset as soon as the mission's over. So in that way, it's kind of a waste. But I don't know. Whatever. I like building. Are there metal building components after stone? I believe there are. Uh, in tier four, there might be. There's also glass you can do, so you can do like glass walls and stuff. Let's try to get to the point where we build a house that looks like some kind of like a funky modern house or something with like glass walls and cement. I don't know if there is cement. Tier 4 building, there is, uh, that's all electrics and stuff. Is it tier 3? I think tier 3 has aluminum buildings. There's concrete walls and aluminum flooring, yeah. And then there's like glass walls and stuff you can do too. So you can do concrete, aluminum, and glass. The hard part is any energy you spend building it, although it looks cool, it's just gonna go away. Unless you do it on your outposts, and then you get to keep it, but that's not the same as like an emission or anything. That was made of deer meat and bones. <laughs> All the wolves want to come visit. I don't know why. Needs more stamina. You have to go back to the rocket? Is there, uh, You do, actually, yeah. So when we finish the mission, we'll, we'll have to return to the rocket. Uh, I have six days. Six real-life days, though. Like, it's not six in-game days to finish the mission. So I don't think we'll have to worry about that. And it's not that far of a run to the rocket. It's down here, which is... I, I would prefer to be right next to it, but not a big deal. I'm so slow. I'm so overweight. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Okay. So I need, uh, I need 12 walls again. I think I'm gonna do the same thing up here that I did in the bottom. We'll do the, uh, the same windows. And then every time it rains, I'll have to run around and close all the windows up. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's make this a wall, I guess. Ah, come on. Roof pieces now. Uh, 
Arctic Venture tonight. Yeah, we're headed to the uh, headed back to the Arctic to do some scanning. Apparently, uh, they decided they want some more places they can land, so they're sending us out to do some scanning mission. Okay, now I need. Uh, I think I can make these into peaks. If I recall correctly. Whoops. <laughs> it seems I'm going to need more support for my building to be this tall. <laughs> I just wasted wood. That's awesome. I'm not sure if this will work, but we'll see if we can use these to kind of shore things up a bit. Extend our support level up from the ground a bit. Oh, I can't do that in the corners without messing up my corners. Um... the front edge easy enough. I guess I could also do some of these like horizontally. This may not make a difference, but we'll see. That's a problem. Ah, without stone, I may have problems here. No, oh, it is working at the front. So maybe it is, maybe that support post did actually help. Extending up from the ground level. It's not cracking. So, these fancy corner windows I put back here, I don't think they're gonna, well, I guess I could put a hole through the middle of them, I guess. What's wrong? It's too high up from the ground level without, without a sufficient amount of support. So you've gotta like, it's sort of like building in Valheim, you can only build so far off of, uh, off of what it considers like a base support piece. Uh, building the walls up first might help, but it might still just be that it's too high up relative to the ground level. So I put um, I put support poles in the corners, and that seems to have that seems to have helped for now. Uh, I need these pieces here now. I need uh, four of them, I guess. Six of them, I think. I think I got to do the middle peak one too. <laughs> this is so much overkill. Why is it rotating when it gets there? That's weird. There we go. That's not right. Oh my god, stop it! I've made doors yet, either have I? <laughs> I'm tempted to leave the top peak open, but uh, our yeah, it's the uh, we'll do the upper peak. There we go. Two doors, we're all set. And then I don't have to worry about building my base any bigger. Aside from oh, I, I'm gonna need windows too, I guess. Um. But now it, it should be big enough to accommodate pretty much everything I'm gonna want to do. Plus, it looks looks slightly fancy. It's not like super duper fancy, but it's slightly there. You know, something I gotta do support out here for the roof, but that's fine. 
All right. So I'll do my living quarters up here, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna need a sleeping bag. Need this stuff. Bedroll. Okay, now put seven furnaces on the second floor. Yeah. I need to, uh... I don't know. This this maybe isn't the best design, but... It'll work. I guess. Whatever. Blow a... I'm gonna put my campfire up here, too, if I can get enough stone. I got enough. Oh, where'd the meat go? Hooray! Night one, we did it! We had a bed right away. I didn't have to didn't have to be out in the dark this time. Usually it takes a little longer to get the fur, so I don't have to like Um I don't have a bed right away usually. Uh alright, windows. I need uh two, four, I need six per floor. Wow. I may have possibly made too many windows. Oh, I also don't have a front set of stairs on this thing I gotta do. We'd love to see you and Nate play Phasmophobia together. Yeah, we, we'll be playing that again. I think uh, Nate was thinking about doing that for like uh, New Year's or something, potentially. Doing like in VR. I gotta get the uh, the VR cable for my quest though, so I can run it on my PC. Now where'd that dead wolf go? No, you're here, wolf. Where'd you die? I should probably make a torch, huh? It's like the dark. Oh, how did I end up with so many? I made too many corner pieces. Where'd you die, wolf? Oh, there you are. Oh, they made it so you can now? So it can what now? Both the crazy firmware mods? Yeah, so there's a link cable that you just need. So effectively what I'm doing with the Quest is running it on my PC and using the Quest headset as the visual display uh, and the controls or whatever, but it's really the PC that's doing the work. So yeah, it is a, it is an option. Just takes a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra effort. Nothing too crazy, but... And then I'll have to get used to actually playing... I don't have oxygen. Hmm. Uh, I'll have to get used to playing with a cable attached, too, because um, obviously the Quest uh, the Quest 2 doesn't have a cable normally. I need 12 windows. Okay. How about... How many can I make? 10 it is. Windows and windows, welcome to an endless maze. What is your quest? What is your favorite color? What is the average airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? What do you mean, African or European? Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay, we did uh, we did a thing. I'm gonna put most of my crafting benches down here. Maybe we'll put the textiles upstairs though. It'll be a like bedroomy space kind of thing. Oh, maybe I should put this down and actually build a skinning bench. That might be a thing we need. For which I need wood. Son of a gun. Oh, I also didn't make stairs. We need stairs still. For which I also need wood. <laughs> maybe I should get some oxygen. You know you can get virtual desktop to go wireless. Uh, the I'm, the only thing I'm concerned about is potential for input delay. If I go wireless with it, because normally when you're using the the uh, the Quest Two, you're just using everything on board. I don't know. We'll see.
pile our corpses in here. It's fine. I'm sure the place won't stink. If it does, we'll just hire like a fumigator or something. We sure are ain't worry about wireless delay. Not really. I've seen it. I've seen some significant input delay with something like that. VR is not quite like a wireless controller. We'll go make a skinning bench. We can tear those apart. That'll give me some fur, some leather. Uh, we can start working on fur armor relatively soon, I think. Uh, those look like stairs and rotate. There we go. Look at that. This place is looking fancy. Uh, I need a skinning bench now. Skinny bench crafts. Uh, we also want an oxide dissolver. Craft one of those. Make a couple of oxygen bottles. No, I can't. Make two. Oh, can't make. Can't even make that. I'm out of leather. I can make one. No, can't make one. All right, we need leather. <laughs> we'll have it soon. What if I can get these wolf skin though? It's dark in here, man. I also need to get my hands on some. Uh, what you call it? Stuff. You know, that stuff. Sulfur. So we can make, uh, make some in, in, inboard torches thing in here. Why does it give me the, an option to do numbers? Can I put multiple animals on the bench at once? Is that a thing I can do? I don't know how I would drop them. No, nope. doesn't seem like it can. I don't know why it does that. Whatever. I guess it's just this, like a same UI kind of thing. Oh, I'm gonna need a new axe too. This uh, printed one I brought with me is pretty much toast. Okay, oxygen bottles. Two will do for now. Will that leave me enough for a longbow? I wonder. Nope. That's fine. Put our oxygen right by the front door. Okay, so we need oxide. We're gonna need sulfur. Some watermelon. Watermelon. Another bright new day for the slaughtering of animals. You can put one on the skinning bench if you're carrying the same animal you can select two. I didn't see how you could just put it down though without actually having it start to process. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter all that much, but like, what am I stuck on? <laughs> I love the way the head like bounces into view. <laughs> Wait for that. Let's go find some silver. Oh, you know what? Let's make. Uh, I'm gonna need stone. Let's get uh, a little bit of stone, and we can make some stone tools. And I can put this printed one aside. Uh, there we go. Set those aside for now. Emily was eating. Sorry, buddy. Dear Bambi, Cryptic is eating your daddy for dinner. Love the chat. <laughs> when you get close to the table, the gray box will turn green and you can put the animal there. It displays it on the table. Huh. I see. 
So instead of uh, clicking on the table, I could just put it down. I get it. I get it. I don't know if it saves much, but... Everyone else said fuzzy streamers are just me. Try checking your quality setting, Crystal. Sometimes YouTube will default you to a lower quality setting, and you have to manually set it to a higher one. Kind of annoying. But it does tend to happen. Is it getting fuzzy? Shouldn't be. Hold on a second. Check what my feed is going at. I mean, I've got stable frame rate output, so maybe it's YouTube encoding. Sometimes they don't handle motion very well with all this foliage and stuff. Rabbit! Ooh, dead rabbit. No! Oh, I didn't mean to scan it. I was going to take it back to the bench. You got like 30 fur off of these things. Now I got none. Rotten rabbit. Dare you make me skin you? Nerve. <laughs> you haven't set to lower as potato Wi-Fi right now. Yeah, I mean, if you're on a phone or something, I find 480 gives pretty good quality, even. But on like a on a on a PC or a TV, you generally want the higher quality. Oh, it looks a little blurry. Oh, that's a wolf. That was a wolf. Let's take that one back to the bench. After I get some O2. Scan in Arctic area. Yeah, we've got to go and find... Uh, we have to pick up the scanner first. That's the radar that's there. And then from there, we'll have to go into, uh, into different places in the Arctic and scan probably three different locations. But it did say we have to be prepared for um, prepared for animal activity. That's a little bit higher than usual. That's a bear. I would. I, would, I don't want. To, I can't. I'm out of stamina. Ah, there we go. I don't want to be stuck carrying a wolf when a bear shows up. That. This doesn't look good, you know? It sets a bad impression for the bear, and then he assumes the worst. The next thing you know, he's trying to eat me. Well, he's not gonna run by that fire, and I'm guaranteed he's gonna light myself on fire. <laughs> uh, Alright, I want... Uh, uh, seven... There were seven of these. Not quite done building yet. I hadn't, uh, hadn't shored up the roof out here. That horizontal. Oh, I can't quite do the peak thing I was thinking of doing. Um, I can do a little bit. I mean, if I do, uh, if I do four of these, maybe. Set that on a diagonal. No. Healer. Come on. I feel like that. I want it to, like, go diagonal right here, but I can't get it to, like... <laughs> I can't get it to point the way I want. Oh, there we go. There's one. And healer. Come on. There we go. There. I can't do the very peak, but that looks alright. Uh, I didn't unlock railings, but I think I'm going to. Not because they're of any utility whatsoever, but just because I like them. And so I might. I don't need reinforced railings, though. Look at that. Too much work. Still need two windows. I do, huh? Yeah, I probably should get them all done. All right, wood railings finished. Uh, I'm gonna need uh, five railings, I guess. Six, seven. I'll do like nine railings.
Because what if I had enough stuff? <laughs> As I'm rapidly creating more things, I'm just going to have to repair. <laughs> Standing torches. Fiber. We got more of that. We got fiber down here. Oh, should just get this thing going too, I guess. Oops. There we go. Now we got our oxygen supply moving. Um, lighting in here is going to be a bit tricky, I think, just because of the stairs I put in. I could put a torch over there, but it'll light my walls up there. I'm going to put one in front of the window, maybe, over here. Close up shop here. Upper windows are closed, aside from those two, which I don't have. I need wood. Yeah, no bears eating me yet. So far, we've gotten lucky. We've been we've been bear free so far. So far, no guarantees it's gonna stay that way. But there we go. Okay, grab more of this wood. Get these loaded up, and then we're. Uh, whoops! Close that. Close that window. That's not what I wanted. Twin powers activate. There. Look at that. We got a fancy place. The fanciest base we've made in a while. Not that it's saying a lot, because some of them have been pretty not fancy. There's play stairs with ladder at some point? Maybe. I kind of like the stairs just for aesthetics. Not for any practical reason whatsoever, but just for aesthetics. I also, uh, I have the small chest unlocked. I'm gonna unlock the medium wood crate. We can build that underneath the stairs here. Assuming I have enough materials to do it. <laughs> of course not, I'm one wood short. All right. Sacrifices have to be made. Uh, is it all you click to get one? Yeah, there we go. we go. Beautiful. Luxury. It's like a luxury hunting cabin now. Isn't that great? I need more, uh, need more wood, though. Rick Richards, thanks for the super chat, Rick. Rick, appreciate that. Railing around stairs for safety? Oh, no. We don't do safety around these parts. Probably should. My only concern is it might slow me down. Like, it might get in the way if I'm running around in there. Hey, Guru Gaming, how you doing? Not enough fire slash burning. It's, you know what? It's a it's a wooden structure. I'm guessing there's going to be storms that come along that cause problems for me. We'll see what happens. I still hear that bear. I still haven't made that longbow yet. The defoliation begin. The deforestation. I said, let there be lumber. Has lightning struck my house yet? Not, um, not recently. It did in the beta. When we started getting the intense lightning storms, I made a point of upgrading stone, which is impervious to all that stuff. Um... So since the beta, I have not had that issue, but I did have it happen in the beta. Whoa! Is that a wind gust? <laughs> it's a bear. It's a bad idea. Bad idea. Nah, good idea. Good idea. Everything went as planned. Come back here, bunny. 
Fine. Why do I get attack noises? <laughs> I think the music was delayed. Right, let's go skin this bear. Oh, there's a wolf there. That's what the problem was. I almost went to Oz on that one. Yeah. Annie M. Annie M. The worst part is it left my house behind. You know how much work you just put into that? Actually, I just realized how much work we put into that. I spent an hour working on that stupid house. <laughs> I should maybe shouldn't have spent that much time on the house. All right, let's go home and turn this bunny into like absurd amounts of fur. We'll get our textile station built, and then we can make fur armor. So we'll be uh, set from that perspective. Ooh, I have talent points to spend too. I was working towards getting polar bear armor, uh, and I would like to do that. In the hunting category, bam, we can make polar bear armor now. Isn't that fun? Lucky strike, chance to mine deposit in one hit. Friend of the trees, reduce fall damage from falling trees. Probably should take that one, but I'm not going to. I kind of want to do the exploration ones. We got a lot of running to do this time, so as I get points for now, I think I'm going to put them into faster movement speeds. Let's increase movement speed while crouching. Yeah, let's let's put it in here. I'm trying to get my overall movement speed up a bit. Uh, textile bench we can craft. Hopefully, we have enough for the herbalism bench. What mission am I on? Uh, this mission is the one where we have to do um, like scanning in the Arctic. Uh, I put the mission name in the description. I don't remember the uh, specific name of it. It's like Arctic Scan or something, I think. Bloop. So many furs. So many. Okay. Uh, nope. That's not what I wanted. Put our little uh, herbalism bench down here. I'm going to put the textile bench upstairs. Just because you might as well make use of the space now that I have it. There we go. I'm going to need uh, leather. I'm going to need lots of fur. I don't think I need the bones in there, but I am going to need probably fiber, I would guess. All this stuff can stay here. Yeah, I need uh, I need rope, so I'm gonna have to go get some more fiber, I think, because I used a lot of it. Need some apple bottom jeans to go with my boots and fur. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but uh, after two years of working at home and sitting on my backside all the time, I don't need apple bottom jeans. I need pumpkin bottom jeans. Pumpkin bottom jeans. <laughs> slashy, slashy. I should probably go get one of those oxygen bottles. Did I ever try the game Conan Exile? I did, actually, yeah. I tried it when it first came out. Um, I, I liked it conceptually, but... I didn't get super into it, to be honest. Not that it doesn't have a lot of, uh, a lot of similarities with this, but... I think because it was more massively multiplayer, and then you, I, you had to deal with, like, griefing issues and stuff, I just... I never really got super into it. I don't, uh, I don't commit enough time to games to be able to do an online scenario like that where my stuff is, like, persistent. I also have a case of WFH15. <laughs> the work from home 15. Yeah, except uh, I think I, I doubled down on mine. I went for the, w for the WFH30. Uh, <laughs> That's probably more, more accurate, to be honest. Got the 3D printed bottle, it's like 50 oxides from the 
uh, from the filler. Oh, really? From the oxygen bottle? That's nice. I want the canteen first, I think. Because I hate spending, uh, I hate spending steel on the canteen. And I find the, um, I find the oxygen bottle things you can make out of leather on this, this oxide dissolver here. These things work pretty good. They last quite a long time, and I'm sure the, um, I'm sure the other one lasts longer, but for my purposes, I found these ones are quite good. Okay, I need, uh, God, how many, how many pieces of rope do I need for this thing? Should've put one of those torches up here, I guess. So I'm gonna need, uh, 4, 10, 12, 18, 22, and 8. So I'm gonna need, like, 30 rope. Maybe like 30 of these things. Ah, 130. That's too many. <laughs> Probably good for XP, though. Fill all that up. Get some leather out of here. We could probably make ourselves a longbow now. Still not. 30 of 32. Well, that bites. I gotta kill something else. Go do that. While I'm, uh, while I'm making rope there, I'll make, uh, make something else dead. Keeping the game is really strange. It's like Bronze Age version of Empyrean. It, it, I mean, the concept of the game is a little strange in that it's like futuristic based, but you're working with primitive tool sets. Um, and since you have to go back and start each mission fresh, look at all the rabbits over here. Um, since you have to go and start each mission fresh, you're always going back to those basic tools until you can make the more advanced tools. Um, so that, that aspect of it is a little bit weird. But oddly enough, like, in a lot of these kinds of games, that's the portion of the game I tend to like the most. It's the initial build-up, like, because you make quick advancement on things. You get, like, you very quickly get a reward mechanism for your work. So, I don't know. Oh, I should probably get these carrots. They keep, like, forever. Canteen oxygen bottle for the workshop is worth getting. Yeah, I'm working on getting the canteen now, but I didn't have enough to craft it. I had enough uh, enough money to research it, but not to craft it. We'll get there. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Get 20 leather off of that thing. Okay, I want longbow, and if I have enough, I'd like to make a canteen or water skin. There we go. Swap that out. That's my junky one. It can stay down there. Water! Oh, I need that rope. Lap. Lap. Nice. Full suit of armor. Uh, but I apparently need a little bit of fiber for that, uh, backpack. That's gonna take a little longer to make. Sweet! Travis G, welcome to Mistakes Were Made and the two-month membership. I don't know if that's a renewal or an upgrade, but thanks for that, Travis. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, I might put a little storage box up here, just so I can put, like, food products in it. So what if I had any materials to build anything with? <laughs> gonna need that, gonna need this, probably. A little, little small storage box. Careful that zipper. Oh, yeah, we don't want to, uh... I don't want to damage anything. You know that stuff is, it gets in the way sometimes. Zip! It's bad news bears. I'm gonna put a little wood in here too for the fire, just in case I need it later. Okay, I should be able to make... Oh no, I don't have leather. Gotta get leather. Lots of sticks we have. From all that wood chopping we did. 
decent amount of bone. Wish there was a sort button. <laughs> A little bit of wood, spoiled meat and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna need uh, we need silica. Probably need to make the forge again. Probably got a forge ready. Actually, I'll go double forge if I can do it. Leather and stone, I'm gonna need. You paid the hubby cringe. <laughs> oh, with the zipper comment. <laughs> it's really only a problem if you're going commando, so I don't really run into that issue, but. <laughs> Can you buy workshop items and use them? Uh, or I can buy workshop items and he can use them? Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That's, that feels like cheating to me. I like to earn what I get in games. If I, it's uh, A lot of the time when people join in the games, they're often ahead of me and they bring things with them that then make the game a lot easier for me to advance. It kills a lot of the fun for me. Bring the forge to the mine, yeah. Yeah, I wonder what happens if you try to take back station items that uh, that don't belong to you. I don't know how that works. Do they have a mechanism set up to stop people from doing that, I wonder? Acquiring minds want to know. Come here, chamois. I think the chamois have the most leather when you skin them. Erotically more than the deer, which really makes no sense, because they definitely don't have more skin. Shammy. Yeah, you get 40 leather off the shammy. I don't understand why they're so much more leathery than a deer is, but I'm not going to complain about it because it's helping me. Is that a baby deer? That's a baby deer. A shammy. He'd be out there butt naked in the wilderness. Man, th look, this is an unsettled planet. If you came down here butt naked, can you just imagine the the evil that the bugs would do to you? Like, the insects on this planet would just be absolutely insane. <laughs> I, I would not, I would not invite that if I were you. <laughs> DNA log knife, yeah, or something. That'd be funny. Okay, uh, what was I gonna make? I'm gonna make something. Oh yeah, the forges. Stone furnace. I need oh, a little bit more stone. I can make two of them. Well, let's get one started. Get one of them going. We get a little bit more stone. We can make two. I can bring with me. And then the mine's not very far away from here, so we can get to that really easy. Insects don't act any different if you're naked. No, but you lack protection to keep them off of all parts of your body is all I'm saying. But the, as an unsettled planet, the insects would be absurd. Just absurd. There's a talent in the bow tree that makes it so uh, baby drops more fur high than meat. Oh, really? Uh, Alright, one more of these. Craft that. Take this with me. No, obviously I don't need to bring all this stuff with me when I go, but I would like to make more arrows. Because I don't have that many. <laughs> Four! Go me! <laughs> what am I lacking there? I think it's probably... Is it the bones? No bones about it! There we go. These I can just destroy. Okay, this can stay, that can stay, take our forge, take our wood. Warning, you've lost connection to our servers, uh, you can continue playing while we reestablish the connection. 
Uh oh. <laughs> That's not promising. Oh my god, is, please tell me it's not my internet. That would suck. Listen here. No saves for you. How do I save 215 seconds ago? Heartbeat. Update state failed. How do I make sure that... Oh, there we go. Saved. Phew! Alright. Cause me panics and issues and things. I'm gonna take this other bottle so we can swap out. Go on with a fresh one. Alright. We're saved! Oh, I gotta bring, uh... Probably stuff to fix things, huh? So I'm going to need just a little bit of stone on me. A little bit of sticks on me. And I throw my tool on the ground. Good job. Hair. I don't need even that much. I'm going to minim minimize my carrying here as much as I can. There we go. Alright, let's go find some metal. Repair hammer? Oh yeah, I should bring the backpack too while I'm at it. I don't know that I need a repair hammer though. Oh, I'm gonna put these in here too. At some point carrying these around. I need a bit of, oh wait, I want the one. Because I'm gonna use I'm gonna use one of them. But the axe I don't need anymore. Backpack is equipped. Sixteen forty-six. Guess if I'm in the cave, it's not gonna matter if it's day or night. Don't forget Wilson. Wilson! I was still using stone arrows. That's funny. Even though I had the bone ones made. Did I ever kill the woolly mammoth? No, we didn't actually. I, I should turn off the lights to save fuel, but they last a super duper long time anyway. So I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I never did kill the woolly mammoth. Didn't get very far in there, did we? Oh, God! <laughs> I couldn't even see that one. Oh, there's two of them there. Well, we got slightly poisoned. Only slightly. We'll be healing, everything's alright. I guess since they glow, I don't really need to drop the torch. They don't shoot too fast because sometimes when I go to draw the draw the bowstring, it doesn't draw. Ah, you jerk! I missed. Peace. Cold and wet, and I got worm spit all over me. Sit for our wormy friends. Okay. Set up in here, I guess. Now we just need some stuff to put in there. 
Ooh, coal. I'm gonna need that coal too, I guess, but I'm not gonna take it right away. I don't need to port to port this box any flails poison. <laughs> well, it's just that in order to make the shot, like throwing the torch down takes time. Which then gives them a chance to shoot at me, so I was like, I can just I can just hold off and I'll just shoot them, just shoot for the glowing thing. It'll be fine. Level 31! Worms, <laughs> worms, but I hear tastes like chicken. Oh, I got it in my mouth. Cold, wet, and covered in worms, but I love your. I hope your mother doesn't watch your videos. <laughs> no, my mom's not into video games. I don't think she entirely understands the whole YouTube thing. I think we're safe on that front. <laughs> Blame it with a super chat. Just wanted to say thank you for the entertainment. I appreciate it. Well, I appreciate the super chat. Thank you very much. Thanks for enjoying the content. It's nice to be able to make something and have people actually enjoy it. <laughs> Funny other works. Believe it or not, your skin outgasses more when exposed to UV and clothing also as a barrier to exposure. Main thing, your gentle bits of Yes, that, that, is, uh, that is a thing. It's definitely covered. <laughs> But also, the insects. Oh, the insects. Man, we might actually get enough iron out of this cave. I might have to take multiple trips just to get it all home. Don't go out, don't go out. Yeah. Wait, what needs raw ore? By the way, if you do aluminum structures, uh, don't refine the aluminum. Oh, okay. I don't know if I'll even bother with the aluminum structures unless I get to the point where uh, I'm gonna do my like outpost building. Because for most missions, you're just not here long enough to make it worthwhile to put that much time and effort into uh, into building things. Um, yeah, that works. The 25 in here, 50 more in here. And we're gonna have all kinds of iron. Uh, this one I'm not gonna be able to drop the torch for without it going out, I don't think. Maybe drop it back here and see what happens. Yeah, it works. They have some new missions they've added to the game where your, your whole purpose is just to get resupply, so like you, uh, you come down to the planet and you have to make like 300 iron ingots or something and then like send them back in a, in a dropship. I don't know if I'll do those ones on stream just because I don't know how entertaining it'll be for you just to watch me mining and making ingots over and over and over again. Warning, I've lost connection again. Fabulous. Funny, when I lose that connection, my, I see my bitrate on my stream fluctuates. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if my internet is responsible in any way. Stockpile missions. They made it two cargo haulers now. Oh, they did, eh? Let's face it, the harassment for Rabbit adds to the entertainment value. Yeah. That's why we that's why we keep him around. He's entertaining. Even if he does like to torture me. Prowler of the Super Chat. It's not much, but here's an early Christmas gift. Merry Christmas to you and the Fox family. Well, thanks, Prowler. I really appreciate that. Merry Christmas to you, too. Yeah, 
May you have the happiest of most expensive seasons. <laughs> I guess the servers are having an issue as well. Oh, you are. Okay. This is not just me. That's that's reassuring. Only reason I thought it might be my internet is because I, I am seeing some fluctuation on my stream bitrate. But that just could be because it's like picking up and dropping from Icarus too. This game is an iron paradise. Oh yeah, we're getting a ton of iron in here. This is great. There's also uh, a few different coal deposits in here too, which is nice. Let's get this um, bottom of the smelter. I don't think these really need to be loaded. They're probably still going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so much iron. With any luck, this will be all the iron we need. Might not need any more. We'll see what happens though. Some of the stuff takes a lot. Seems nice and clear on my end, 10 feet nice, until YouTube resets it to potato. <laughs> uh, what are you watching the stream on? Uh, 1080 potato. 1080 potato. Very splashy. Just, oh my god, there's more iron up here. Look at the iron, this is nuts. My pickaxe is about to break though. That's it. This pickaxe is broken. I could use the stone one, but I'm not going to because you don't get any bonus, uh... You don't get any bonus iron with the stone pickaxe. So we'll throw these in here. Uh, what do we got here ingot-wise? I wonder if these things will just keep going if I run away and come back later. So 92. Well, it's windy out now. Anyway, I guess I can't really go out. Let's um, let's go ahead and we'll switch to the stone pickaxe just to get some coal because I'm gonna want coal. Use this to make some steel bloom. How much iron do I need? I didn't really math it out. I probably should. But it, it's 40 to make the, um, 40 to make the anvil, I think, in order to make the tools. Let's see. Well, more to make a, a uh, well, actually, this needs 40 to make the machining bench. 12 more to make the concrete furnace. Yeah, we are going to need quite a bit. 20 to make the, uh, the cement mixer. In terms of iron tools, I'm going to need, um, 6, 12, another 18 plus some iron nails, so say like 19. So it, t it takes quite a bit. Not a, not a small amount of iron. And if we get into steel, then I'm, I'm gonna need like all kinds of it for that too. <laughs> this steel bag is it's uh it's worth it to make uh to make the platinum pickaxe. I gotta find some platinum too, I guess. I haven't unlocked the platinum pickaxe either. <laughs> for later missions. Oh yeah. It's my carrying. Uh, I don't want to overload myself here. Time of day, twenty-two hundred. Oh, it's nighttime too. Um. All right. Well, let's take um as much of the iron ingots as I can here. Connection issue. Come on, don't don't be this way, game. Hundred and ninety-nine seconds ago. Wonder what will happen if I just keep playing and it it's not able to re-establish a connection. Do I just lose all my progress? Because if so, that would suck. I would not be a huge fan of that. Alright, we're gonna redistribute some of this.
That would suck, yeah. Yeah, I still have a connection problem. 238 seconds later. You gonna be making the rifle? Well, I have a bolt action rifle. I unlocked the um, the hunting rifle. That's the one I really want to make. So I'm gonna need a few benches before we can get to that point, which is gonna require things like making epoxy. Um, we're gonna need to make steel. Kind of a lot of things we're gonna need. It sounds limited. They should make it so you can bring back more that would increase their profits. Yeah. It's like a hundred. Oh, I need copper too. What do I need copper for? Wood, iron nails, epoxy, rope, stone, iron ingots. Oh wait, no, this one here. Oh, I need electronics to make this thing. So I'm gonna need gold and copper for that, don't I? Are the electronics tier three? Yes, they are. Copper ingots and refined gold. So I should unlock that. Get the recurve bow. That takes aluminum ingots, though. Hunting armor. If I didn't have to go into the uh, into the cold biome this time around, the uh, the hunting armor would be cool to have. Fifty copper, lots of gold. Wait, lots of gold for what? The rifle it doesn't it shouldn't take a whole bunch of like gold and stuff. So the hunting rifle is just oh, it takes titanium ingots now. Oh crud. Okay, well we're not making the hunting rifle today. <laughs> titanium pickaxes. Uh, so I'm assuming I'm gonna need to get the platinum tools. Does it go iron to platinum? Is there? Is there not steel? Oh, there is steel. Hmm. I should unlock those. Platinum axe, platinum pickaxe. What's the platinum hammer for? Light, durable, accurate, but still a hammer. <laughs> What's the hammer used for? Is that even in the other? I don't think there is even in it. Oh, there is an iron repair hammer. Oh, it's a repair hammer. Psh, we use the wooden one. 40 titanium ingots equal 200 ore. That's a fair amount, yeah. Yeesh. Travis in the super chat, say bye to your home from that storm, lol. Oh god, I hope not. If I went back and my, my home was toast, that would suck so bad. Light, light winds are, aren't an issue for the wood. It's when the winds get strong, though. <laughs> it's for Cribs Icarus edition. <laughs> yeah, look, my house is made of platinum. <laughs> oh no. Please reconnect. Don't do this to me. Not like this. Five of 126. We're getting there. I wonder if I, I really wonder if I can just leave this and come back if it will still be here doing its thing. Hammer's used for hammering a danger, hammering out a warning, hammering out love between my brothers and my sisters all over this land. All right, if you say so. <laughs> I don't know what that's referencing. It's your router with a repair hammer. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing wrong. You know, when something breaks, the best way to fix it is by smacking it with something hard and blunt. I don't like waiting for this. I want to just go home and do my thing. You know what? I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to go home. It's dark out here. I need to bring some silica back because I need to make the uh, mortar and pestle.
Hopefully when we come back to the cave, those things will just still be doing their thing. Like the good little smelter forge things they are. Is that connection issue a bug? Because this morning it also happens to me a few times. Usually it's no problem. Uh, I don't know. It, uh, it's happened a couple times on stream already, but it reconnected. This one is not looking promising, though. Please don't let there be a bear in front of me. Hurt myself on that jump a little. All right, I have many, many medals. Uh, I ran out of room. <laughs> Let's make some mortar and pestle at least. Ashley, super for the super chat. Hoping house is on fire. Oh, thanks, Ashley. But no, it's not burning. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, though. Did I just cancel that? I think I did. I did. Interesting. You take the supplies out too soon, it doesn't like it. And I learned something today. Okay, I'm stuck on my stairs a little there. There we go. Uh, I could put the coal in here, I guess. Still can go in there too. Branches. I need to make sap and stuff anyway. I need to make the... Uh... No, I don't have wood. Alright. Crud. Put some of this in storage. I don't need quite this much of everything in here. I can go in there. This can go in here too. Okay, I need wood. Still. As always. Travis with another super chat. Uh, we were only hoping while well, going out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> Can you imagine after we spent like the first hour of the stream building that thing? If I came back from mining and it was just a smoldering ruin, that would have been great. My morale would have been like as high as possible. <laughs> no morale higher. Shucks, can't connect to my online character. Yeah, I can't, uh, I'm still playing, but I'm concerned that... I'm, I'm concerned we're gonna, we're gonna wind up at the end of the stream and have no updated connection and lose my... Lose my character. <laughs> and that, or not even, maybe not the character, but like lose my, uh... My progress. At least I'm doing a six-day mission rather than a six-hour mission. This is true. This is true. Okay. Anvil. Anvilania. Anvilania. Need more leather. We can make a cooking station, too. That'd be an alright thing to make. Uh, Blap. Okay. Puts my uh, put my iron production stuff over here. Do oh, I need leather for that stuff? That's the thing I need. So wood we have, iron we have. No need sticks in here. Actually, another super chat. Lol, is it bad we're rooting against you? <laughs> I I would say it's typical. I don't think I would say it's bad. I would just say it's typical. So very very typical. Let me put my kitchen over here. Look at that, we can cook things. Not with anything I have, but we can cook things. If I can get to the point of actually harvesting some corn, we can make some of that fancy cream corn stuff. Plus 150 maximum health is kind of nice. Not to mention the reduced uh, stamina consumption. Listen, Deviant with a super chat. 
But look at some of the concept art the devs are working on. The alien creatures look pretty cool. Love watching our streams. Well, thanks for the super chat. Yeah, there's even an alien creature in one of the trailers that they had. Uh, I don't know if it was just like a like an idea or something they're actually going to have in the game, but it did look pretty cool. Um, I'm going to make the masonry bench because I'm going to want it for shelter when we go out. I also need the machining bench. To make uh, steel and such. So I'm going to need epoxy. We're going to need rope. 24 rope for that and 12 rope. So we need 36 rope. Hopefully we got enough in there. We should. Yep. Uh, 36 rope. And then I'm going to need uh, 240 nails, which is 24 of the production things over here. Right off that. What else? Leather. This one, uh, just stone and epoxy. So you can make epoxy out of bones, but I happen to have a bunch of sticks. So I'm gonna make it out of, uh, tree sap and sulfur. Oh, I don't have that much sulfur on me, though. Hmm. Maybe I should make it out of bones. Travis G with another super chat. Super false advertisements. <laughs> they're supposed to, uh, they're supposed to add them in at some point. I don't... Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. It looks like they're going to be adding them in at some point. I guess it's not really all that clear what they're going to do, but... Grind up some bone. Make epoxy that way, I guess. Okay, you're back, booster. Got the common side effect of nausea and dizziness. Oh, that sucks. I think I, I'm supposed to have my booster this week sometime, I think. I don't remember what day exactly. My wife has that all figured out. I need more leather, which means I gotta go kill stuff. And you know how much we hate killing things. Oh, what was that? <laughs> I think my arrow just went around that rock. That was cool. Yeah, you only you only kill the young. <laughs> That's right. Here, little baby deer, sweet little baby deer, it's soon to adorn my mantle. We got all wolves though this time, and a rabbit. Oh, I got my backpack on still. Oh, darn it! All right. Oops. I don't have a stone. That's a wolf. All right, little baby rabbit, where'd you go? There it is. Poor sweet little innocent rabbit. I'm in Pennsylvania. My work is prepping for mandatory vax, so I don't get a choice uh, if I want money to feed my daughter. Yeah, that is kind of uh, it's kind of important, I guess. The whole food on the table thing. Probably with another super chat. Chris and I think you should move the stand torch to the bottom corner of the stairs. Oh, like right at the. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, I think I know what you're talking about. That might be doable. As long as it's not gonna light stuff on fire. I mean, like, if I put them right here? Instead of in the corners over here? light anything on fire, but if it's not lighting the floor above it on fire already, then I'm sure it's probably fine.
There we go. The only place that's not really well lit is behind the stairs, but... That's our secret storage chest back there. Don't tell anyone. Okay. Finally got our iron tool upgrade. That's done. Uh, how are we doing here? Let's see. I need uh, epoxy. We're going to be 10. What did I need for that bench? 10. That's convenient. Ooh, I got enough. Okay, let's get the 120 nails out of here. Get my epoxy out of here. Now we can craft this bench. Be on to steal in no time. <laughs> Look at all the iron that took. Yikes. Okay, that can be deployed. Canteen takes eight steel ingots. Oh, I need the uh, the concrete furnace, so I'm going to need more rope and more epoxy. Plus concrete mix, so I'm going to need to make the concrete maker perks, or the cement mixer rather, so I need eight rope. And a bunch of stone. Oh, I got the rope there. The stone I do not have. Uh, let's make some more of this stuff here. So we can get our epoxy ready. Now I need stone. Connection issue. Yeah, it's not resolving itself either. We've been... 1,275 seconds. I'm really worried that it's gonna, like, just nuke all of my progress. It's nice that even though there's a connection issue, I can still keep playing. It doesn't just like completely interrupt the gameplay. Now I assume if you're trying to start a new a new game though or a new prospect, it probably doesn't work. But here about one thousand people dying each day. Most of them are back. Oh, that yeah. Well, vaccines saves won't work. Yeah, I figured. Figured. I'm really hoping it'll reconnect before the stream's over. <laughs> uh, I'm not really relishing the idea of doing this mission twice. Looks like the devs are working on the servers. Alright. Well, like I said, hopefully they'll get them resolved before I have to finish. enough to make that fancy bench now. Uh, oops, man, mixer. Stick that here. Actually, I'll stick it back in the corner because I'm not really going to use this cement mixer bunch. There we go. So to make cement, I need uh, silica ore, stone, and tree sap. Uh, tree sap we make for the branches in here. Bring that rope back. Silica ore. Give me maximum tree saps. I can hear required elements. Oh, I gotta pick a recipe. Duh. Duh. Okay, I need a whole lot more silica. Holy. Uh, okay. Let's get that going anyway. We can start crafting some of it. 
This needs a total of 20 cement, so I'm going to need to find a silica node we can hack apart. Maybe we could leave the vaccine discussion somewhere else, everyone. This is just supposed to be a fun stream. There's going to be differing opinions on that, uh, and I'm not really interested in having a, a fight about it in the chat. Plop, 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 fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Uh, what was it doing? Oh, yeah, silk ore. Oh, I should also get water, I guess. Will you be upgrading your log cabin into a fancy stone hunting lodge? I haven't decided yet. It sort of depends on how long this is taking us and if there's storms are gonna just start rocking it. Um, the trouble with upgrading at this point is that it really, really adds a lot of playtime because you gotta gather a lot of resources to be able to upgrade. So I'm thinking that once we have all the equipment we need for our expedition, the base largely becomes irrelevant at that point. And so I probably won't upgrade it unless we start to get rocked by storms. And then I might feel compelled to do it just because, uh, I don't want to keep repairing all the time or something. Hopefully Icarus has uh, sailed December 22nd on Steam. Why specifically December 22nd? Is that like a Steam winter sale or Steam Christmas sale or something? It's funnier to watch me try to repair a train storm. <laughs> Well, like I said, like once we we really only needed the staging area to build all the equipment we need for our expedition. Once we have that stuff, it becomes irrelevant because we're just gonna go. Like when we return, we're just gonna wind up um, leaving the planet anyway, and then it all just goes away. Sale the twenty fourth. See, Epic's having fifteen dollar off coupon. Is it fifteen? I thought it was ten. That's cool. Maybe it's fifteen in Canada and ten in the U.S. By the way, hit that like button. Yeah, I never ask, but my chat does it for me. So if you guys enjoy the stream, feel free to click on the like button. Helps tell YouTube what you like and what you don't like. I'm trying to get a buddy of mine to buy this game so I have an excuse to buy it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a few people in our Discord that play it as well. Like, you could uh, just coordinate playing with other people. Okay, hopefully that's enough silica now to make the cement I need. I don't really need all that much cement, since we're not making, like, cement walls or anything. Yeah, or hit the dislike button. It's equal opportunity, that's right. <laughs> if you don't like it, you can say so, too. It's the beauty of choice. Now. Why it is you can't carry a body back with you? Oh, I want the, I want your leather, buddy. Ow! <laughs> um, I wonder why it is you can't carry a body back with you when you have a backpack. It seems weird to say that you can't you can't have both over your shoulder. I'll put my backpack in here. I don't really need it right now. Why am I overweight? Oh. <laughs> I kind of carried a lot of stuff I wasn't thinking about. Uh, all this can go in here. Still can go in here. I want to go get that the body of the chamois because they they give you like 40 leather when you use them on the skinning table. Dora's map gets in the way. <laughs> Wiper, no swiping. Has anyone seen boots? Huh. 
chock full of wolfy goodness. Um, I don't think I specifically need anything there. I know I'm gonna need the leather at some point, so I figured it'd be helpful to have those. 18, good. That'll get that going. Notice how there's no weather? Well, I mean, there was a little bit. I wonder if the, uh, is, wait. Are server issues related to the lack of weather? Hope not. Where did I kill that wolf over here? Here with the bear again. <laughs> I wasn't exactly watching where I shot that wolf, but it was somewhere over here. Well. Alright, I guess I can just leave it. Whatever. Who cares? Let's go get the uh, the rest of the iron we were smelting. Hopefully not get mauled by a bear. Game always looks good for me. Oh, hey, Nate, how's it going? Finally using Windows, I see. Yes, I've got a few Windows. <laughs> You've taught me the error of my ways. We have windows now. I have like 12 of them. <laughs> I also have a connection problem, which is uh, vexing me at the moment. What is going on over here? So many animals. Wouldn't lack of weather have to do with the server issues, not the other way around. Uh, that's what I mean. Like, I wonder if the I wonder if it's like a server-driven thing, but I don't know. It's weird. It's super weird. Probably should have brought my backpack for this. Okay, we got this done. I'm going to take the uh, charcoal out because that will be useful too. And I think I'm going to take these home with me now. <laughs> I'm a little overweight. I think we need to go on a diet. Need that steroid injection we can get in seven days to die that like lets you just overcome encumbrance. <laughs> yeah, the rare minority you lost like fifty pounds. Granted, I do not recommend Crohn's as a weight loss program. Yeah, that is not a good way to go about it for sure. I mean, I know some people that lost weight because they made a point of exercising and stuff while they were off. Uh, I'm inherently lazy. And so... <laughs> the, the lack of... Oh, there's the weather. So... Is that a bear? I mean, oh, it is. There it is. I don't want to kill the bear right now because I can't skin it. I'm too overloaded. Servers are being restarted. Uh, they said in your game it should reconnect and be okay if you keep playing until they're back up. Okay, good. Nice. Very nice. You exercised your eat hole. Yeah, I did the same thing. <laughs> and I also ex exercised my posterior by sitting on it. Although my new chair that I got has made a dramatic difference in my back, which is nice. My back was just a hot mess. Um, Alright, I'm gonna cook meat. Which means I'm probably gonna need more fire. Uh, I'll cook that, I guess, but I can't really cook anything else there. Let's, um. 
Get this here. More wood. Or wood. Got lots of charcoal. I guess I can just... I'll put the smelters back here now, I guess. Of wood though. Where'd all the wood go? Found it. Okay. Let's get our cement. Put twenty one of them, huh? Cement we have, we need uh, epoxy and more rope. They need to work on more food recipes. I 100% agree. Especially since, like, you can't combine the meat with anything, aside from turning it into fat and then using it to make cream corn, which is just kind of weird. Uh, do I have a repair hammer? should probably make sure I have one of those ready. Um, do I have stone anywhere? Please tell me I have stone somewhere. Just in case. Because <laughs> it's the storm's sounding a little, a little not friendly. We're going to start to run into some that are going to require repairing things. Oh, right. Grab the rope, so we don't need that. Oop, what else? Oh, 12 epoxy. Hey, we're reconnected. Huzzah! Just noticed the alert went away. <laughs> I should let Nate play with you. The two, uh, the two of you should fire team against the Bears. Well, we're gonna Nate and I are gonna play tomorrow. I, I got that he wasn't available tonight. Even he suggested tomorrow, even after I told him I was playing tonight. <laughs> Sweet and sour stew: one cooked meat, two berries, and one spoiled meat. No, oh, yeah, I mean you can make like a variety of stuff. I think. I'm sure there's lots of cool recipes we can come up with. Um, what's our waiting on? Only oh, yeah, the epoxy. Okay, that will finally let us make the concrete furnace. Now we're gonna need steel bloom so that I can make steel stuff. Because this process is not at all complicated. There we go. <laughs> Travis G with a super chat, and there goes your home. Not yet, fortunately, not yet. Coming though, <laughs> don't you worry. If there's a big bad storm, it's gonna be bad. Yeah, I'm gonna. I want to bring a rifle with me when we go to the uh, go to the wilderness. So I'm kind of building my way towards that. Um, steel bloom. Ooh, only twelve, huh? I need more coal or possibly. Oh, actually, that might be the iron that's limiting me there. I thought I had more iron somewhere. Is that all the iron? Seriously? Okay. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need to go and find more iron because, uh. Oh, wait, was there. Oh, you know what? I think there was still some left in that cave I left behind, wasn't there? Should probably go and get that. I'll just bring it back here and smelt it though, rather than bringing the smelter, so we'll bring our backpack for this. Travis with another super chat. Would you think a game would be better this game would be better in VR? Uh I don't know. I don't know if survival games play out super well in VR. I mean if the graphics were this good in VR, maybe? Possibly? 
Shooting's really hard in VR games, I don't know why, but... There's nothing about the perspective that's just so different. Can you cook on the concrete furnace? Uh, no, we can smelt stuff in there, and that's pretty much it. I mean, to get around this so I can kill that bear before it sees me. Oh, too late. Oh, he cut me! Run, wolf! Oh, jeez! Oh, I dropped my knife! Give me that! <laughs> Oops! Man, I even remapped the, the drop item button so that I wouldn't drop things randomly, and I still do it. <laughs> Good lord. Anyway, you could demonstrate the fire effects on a wall. I could, but I wouldn't want to do it with one of the walls on my actual base. Because <laughs> I want to burn my house down. Oh, I should probably make advantage, huh? Need some fiber. Wolves. There we go. Fox three, bear zero. So far, when we get to the polar bears, that's when things start to turn for the worse. These bears are relatively easy to kill because they, when they rush at you, you get the headshots and they die really, relatively quick. But polar bears are a little, a little bit on the tougher side. Oh god! <laughs> Run respawns. Well, I was just here for crying out loud. Oh, God, you're a jerk. Well, now I'm poisoned. Should probably heal myself. You can knife the worms, yeah, but then you gotta get close to them. Yeah, see, they hit back when you get in close, too. I don't like that. I'd rather just shoot them. If I got lucky with a bow shot, it will kill them one hit anyway. That was not a lucky bow shot. <laughs> There's another one around the corner here. Oh, you're a jerk. I need a bag of my arrows. Oh, I need that coal, too. I think that should be all of them. Oh, there's still lots of iron in here. Holy. This cave was like the mother load for iron. We got lucky with this one. Don't light me up. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't see what I'm doing. If you're not tasting purple fox, you'll be fine with acid spit. <laughs> um, okay. What if I do taste purple? How does one taste a color? I'm so confused. 
You should wear night vision goggles when you play this game so you can see in caves. That'd be great. I know we can turn off shadows and see in the caves and then the torch isn't an issue, but... Feels too fake. I don't want to do that. Smacking in the dirt. So that got me another 95. I think this pickaxe has 125% for result when you use it too. That one's clear. There's another one over here. I'm gonna drop the torch, but I'm afraid it's gonna roll in the water. I don't want to be stuck in the dark. <laughs> Doing the jump chipping thing. I know you can't see it because it's all black, but... And we're fully loaded. Okay, what can I ditch that I don't need necessarily? The bones. If I make arrows, do they end up lighter? They are. Interesting. I got me just under the weight. It's getting dark out here. Alright, we're good. Purple tastes like Tuesday. Oh, that makes so much more sense now. What? <laughs> Early in seven days to die, he was looking all over for acid. I thought he might be tripping out during the zombie apocalypse. Is a bad idea, but <laughs> but Fox, yeah, I was on uh, was on a serious serious hunt for acid, but couldn't find anyone selling. Alpha twenty seems to have made quite an update to the availability of acid in the game. It's a little bit harder to find now. Just torch and left hand asking too much, right? Right. I wish. I wish. Let's make more steel bloom. Get this stuff started. Uh, oh, I need wood. A little bit of wood so we can actually cook things. That's the wrong button. Acid availability has been super nerfed in Alpha 20. It's about 0.15% chance in the sink now. Yeah, you can find it other places though, like in garages and stuff. Um, I'm kind of okay with it not being as readily accessible. Because it does require you to hunt around a little bit more to find the stuff you want to make things. But yeah, it's like super nerfed. But it, on the flip side, they did make it so you can find tires when you're looting cars. So you still have means of uh, getting the wheels or whatever. Uh, use a little bit of that coal. I got 50 pieces on me. What? Where? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Actually, with super chat, need more death, fire, explosions. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. Activate. Yeah, I could use coal in here to run this thing, but we also need the coal to make steel bloom, so I'm disinclined to use too much of it, I guess. Even though I probably have an overabundance right now. I don't know. It's like an overabundance of caution, maybe. Uh, more arrows.
Alright, we're pretty decked out for arrows now. Get some of this meat cooking up here. One of the ten boxes still alive. <laughs> yeah, we got we got twenty kills already, so we uh, we we're allowed to have fun now. We have twenty kills. Don't worry about that. Put this thing ready. I actually probably need an oxygen bottle. I do. There we go. How's this doing? Ooh, we got 13 steel. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Okay, so this is the bench where we can make uh, rifle rounds. I'm gonna need to make gunpowder. That uses uh, sulfur and charcoal, I believe. Fortunately, I have lots of sulfur. And I have quite a bit of charcoal, too. So with that, we can make uh, gunpowder. Surprise you don't strip, strip uh, straight to a fireplace to avoid the risk of the campfire. Well, the trouble is that the fireplace it requires more stuff to make it. So, like, if you... Um, here's the fireplace here. Oh, it's actually stone and wood. That's not bad. I thought it would take... Uh, you know what? I should have locked that thing. What am I doing? I was expecting the fireplace to require um, nails and uh, um, nails and leather and stuff the way that the stone walls do. I guess they cut back on what the fireplace consists of. It used to have like the chimney and everything, but now it doesn't have that anymore. It just has the fireplace. Unless that's a building option down here somewhere. No, oh, where's the... Is there no more fireplace extensions anymore? That kind of sucks. It looked kind of cool with the whole chimney thing. You get that stuff and you get the fireplace. Oh, okay. It just comes automatically. Oh, good. So you don't have to buy it separately. That's all right. Yeah, um, it does have to be supported, though, too. So I don't know if I could just, like, slap it on a wooden floor. Does that work? Let's, um, let's try it out. I'll make a fireplace. We'll see what happens. <laughs> did not include batteries. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, do I need the... Oh, no, I can make it in here, too. I don't even need... Uh, for some reason, I thought I would need the stone crafting bench. So the reason I haven't been making it is because I was like, well... If I'm going to need to... Uh, if I'm going to need to get all this other stuff to make it, I was not really in a rush to do it. But clearly, that's not the case. Electrocution feels like a full body funny bone hit. <laughs> I've had mild electrocution, but nothing really serious. There's a wolf. You gotta get equipped with the polar bear armor before you go and try and get too far in the quest, or you're gonna try to make it on the fly. I I'm not really sure. I don't know what it takes to make the polar bear armor. I probably should check. I could maybe bring the textile bench with me, and then we could make it while we're en route. Because um, it's not like I'm going to have any polar bear skin or whatever to deal with initially. Wow, 120. Or I didn't get anywhere near enough stone. <laughs> Let's make it daytime, though. Takes a lot of polar bear kills, does it, eh? So, I, I mean, I want to make it, but... I, I don't really want to make it a priority because it, it might take a really long time. So much of this already takes a long time just to get all the prep to work done. But we haven't done anything to progress the mission yet, and it's already quarter after 11 my time. <laughs> Almost a three hour, well, two hour and 15 minutes into stream so far. We haven't done anything to progress the mission. Frag grenades are good for groups of wolves, bears it won't kill. Oh, yeah. 
have to put a stone floor down first and then put the stone frame under the stone floor. Well, you can hold up the stone floor with the posts. It doesn't have to, uh... Because what I've, what I've noticed is that it... I tried to put it directly on the frame before and it didn't work. It was weird. Two-day string mission. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be playing with, tomorrow with Nate, so I, uh... I don't know. So I'm going to get this done tonight. I might, I might stream longer. I don't have to work tomorrow because I have uh, I have holidays now. Let's see if it'll even let me place it. I'm curious. Inquiring minds want to know. On paper, polar bear armor isn't worth the talent points, in your opinion? It, I guess it depends on whether it uh, gives a significant... Like a really significant benefit to... Uh, Cold resist. Right, grab that. So it used to be able to like hang half out of the wall, but now it's sitting full on the floor. I guess I'd have to build a wall that sticks out back or something. But it doesn't take up. It doesn't even take up the full spot. Like that's weird. It sticks in too far. Leave the wall and build it? I, well, it still sticks in a lot farther than I was expecting it to, though. I thought it hung farther out. Like, it's not... that. That's it. It's just against the wall, but inside my house. Put the wall back and just build it. Well, this is a, this is it. Like it's not. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It sticks out too far. I can't see it. I'm gonna go around back and see how much that sticks out the back wall. Yeah, see, it barely sticks out at all. I don't. It's weird. It's weird. It should it should be sticking further into the wall than that. I wasn't really expecting that to take up quite that much room. I mean, it looks okay from the outside, but inside it takes up a weird amount of space. Umbrella Doc, 666 with a super chat. Gonna be getting your brains not included shirt as soon as I get extra funds. Uh, until then, I thought I would show some support. Well, thanks so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. <laughs> Jimmy PCs you can build. I'm surprised it didn't fall through the floor. Well, there is that. <laughs> it's built on uh, just a wood floor, but... I mean, whatever, it works, I guess, right? Uh, let's move this over here. I'm going to keep the campfire because I still need that when I travel, but... Nope. There we go. I still hit caps lock. No, not that. Is all my meat cooked right now? I guess it is. Interesting. I mean, it does look a lot nicer. Uh, clearly, I need to I need to plan my design a little differently if this is what I'm going to do with it, because that's just a bit strange. But whatever, it's good, it's fine, it all works. Oh, how's our uh, how's the steel coming along? Nice. Okay, we have steel. So I need more epoxy, I'm gonna need screws. I have one of those for 100 screws. Uh, we'll need leather. 
We'll need epoxy. <sighs> Not gonna get a lot of epoxy that way. Bones, leather. Oh, I can make the canteen. That's what I should make first, actually. Canteen first. There we go. <laughs> I didn't pick it up. There we go. So now we have something that's not going to leak everywhere when I gather water. Eleanor with a super chat. Merry Christmas and love your content. Well, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm glad you enjoy the content, too. Thank you to everyone that comes to hang out on these streams, really. It's uh, it's fun. It, you know, this is not my main uh, my main job. It's kind of a side hustle for me. But it's something I like doing. My family goes to bed. I stay up late playing games. <laughs> it's a win-win, but I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much. Uh, oops. Yeah. I need more iron ingots. I'm all out. Ah, crap, I can't make bullets. I don't have iron ingots. Uh, repaired? I gotta go find more ore. That sucks. Um, we still have our backpack on, so that's good. Um, let's put... Um, hmm, I don't need the gold right now. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go when we have the uh, the bolt action rifle. I think I think I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go for the hunting rifle tonight. We'll grab both of these. We'll go find ourselves a cave so we can start smelting some more. Uh, some more iron. Make more gunpowder. Make rebar, too. Platinum pickaxe. Hmm. What does it take to get the platinum out of the stone? Is it just, I guess it's just the iron pickaxe, right? Oh, wait. Oh, I probably need steel pickaxes and stuff, don't I? Let's make a let's make a steel pickaxe if I can. I need four epoxy for that. Oh shoot! I'm stuck behind my bullets. Gunpowder, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna make a steel pickaxe so we have that handy. Uh, I'll leave the iron one behind in case if I happen to die. At least I'll have something I can grab that's iron. But this way, if we if we do find some um, if we do find some platinum, then I can mine that. Be the first time I mine platinum, actually, since I only just unlocked the steel pickaxe tonight. Score. Oh, I need food. And... Okay, good. And we got this uh, this water that won't leak anymore. So, I know there is a cave. Oh, I see what the deal is with this. So, I was super confused about where we were when we landed. Because they rotated the map. There's, a, I know there's a cave right back here. I don't know how much is in it. I also know there's a cave, like, along here somewhere. So, I'm gonna go to the one that's maybe a little bit closer. I don't think it was as big, but... Check my canteen. It filled. Yeah, it's fine. We're good. No, I don't need to... Huh. I'm also not going to carry the steel on me, because that would be stupid. Surprised I didn't have a steel sickle, but I got a platinum one. Oh, really? That's weird. You say it's fun, then there's getting over it with Ben... Oh, God, Benefati. Game's evil. The game should never have been invented. But let everyone ever tell you otherwise. Uh, these can stay here. I don't really care about the meat. We'll drop that too. Leave all of our platinum in here. Or not platinum, steel in here. I'll need wood for the fires, so that's fine. Oh my god. Go away, wolves. Four times the playable area just by turning the map. I mean, you get familiar with what, like, the layout of the ground or whatever. 
once you realize where you are. But like when you first pull up the map, I was like, oh, I, I've never been here before. Meanwhile. Level up, congrats, what level are we now? 32. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of tech points and a couple of talent points I haven't spent. Let's maybe, I wanna, again, I'm gonna pump more into Swift Survivor so we can get around quicker. We're gonna have to do a lot of running for this mission still and I haven't even begun. <laughs> All I've been doing is like establishing my base and upgrading equipment. Just that part of it takes so long. So there should be a cave like right along here on the right hand side. What's sake about getting over it is the, uh, isn't the game itself, it's the narrator. Never I ever wanted to reach through a screen and hug someone firmly with your hands around their neck. <laughs> yeah. You kidding? He's a saint. He's such a sweet and lovable guy. Oh, that must have really sucked. Mm, it really, really bites when you have these horrible situations. That's awful. Add some torture, that's all part of the plan, though. Alright, we're in. Get back my arrows. Oh, you got a friend. Oh, there's an exotic ore in here. What? So, the mission that I did uh, last night with Nate, I think it was last night, it unlocked the ability for me to get exotic ores that are mineable in all of my missions now. So, I guess I can theoretically bump into it in like any cave now. That's awesome. Wheat. Oh, I should put my uh, smelters down. This right here works. Benefit of this pickaxe too. 130% yield from mining. Nice. And a higher radius too when you hit things. Uh, blap. This cave is actually kind of small. I'm not going to get much ore in here. It might be enough, but I don't know. Did I see more exotics on the roof of the cave? Uh, no, they kind of glow in the dark, so I don't think so. I'll, I'll take a look. I'll wander around with the torch a little bit and look more, but I don't think so. Ah, oh, I got pneumonia. There's, uh, what is it? Is that copper, I assume, up there? I think that's copper there. Yeah. That's it. Just the, just the one exotic in here. Oh, wait. Did I load the, uh... I didn't. I got old old monia. They were fresh out of the new stuff. I got the old one. That's it, I guess. Very, very little iron in here. We've got aluminum and copper and stuff. Is this platinum right here by any chance? It is platinum. There we go. I mind my first platinum.
Oh, that's platinum there too, actually. I wonder if the bonus applies to uh Platinum's also five to one. Wait, it takes five platinum to make one ingot? I, I, oh, I can't even make it in here. I've got to use the other furnace, don't I? Huh. Well, don't that beat all. Get a little more air here. Nice. A little bit more. There's also a lake not far from here that has a cave that would have a whole bunch in it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to need it yet. We'll see. And I'm already fully loaded. <laughs> okay. Uh, half of this can go in here. Half can go in here. Oops. I was gonna put the platinum more in here. Nothing. I guess I gotta do that in the other in the concrete furnace or whatever. Okay, we're waiting on the smelters again. Exotics are for Earth, not for plebeian tools. Yeah, so the exotics are just basically a currency. We take it back into orbit with us. That gives us stuff that we can uh, use to, like, research and buy things in the workshop area. So we're unlocked. We've been unlocking some stuff in there that just requires the money we get from completing the missions. But uh, now that we have access to exotics, we can get... And, it, you know, it takes money, too. But there's some things that require exotics as, as part of the purchase amount. And it seems like the, the number that you mine on the mission and bring back with you is the quantity that you get. So we did uh, 64 last night we mined up on our mission, uh, Nate and I, and we, so we both got 64 exotics when we returned to the station. Aluminum's necessary for the bow past the longbow. Yeah, but I haven't unlocked it yet. Maybe as long as I'm standing here, maybe I should grab some aluminum. I guess if we're just standing around. So we got a wee bit of aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Uh, yeah, 30. This isn't going to translate into a lot. So you're hitting easily over 300 of the worms of the bone arrows. Yeah. Well, I actually, I, I mean, I, it's not uncommon for me to get 300 on the worms of the bone arrows, even just with the longbow. But it's also not uncommon to hit just under, like, 289, and then they don't die, and then I get to shoot them a second time. But with a good shot, I can, uh, I can get them for over 300. This game had a cave that went miles down. Ugh, alright. <laughs> okay. That one's done. This one's done. Let's get these out of here. I'm overweight already. I haven't even picked up my smelters, and I'm overweight. That's bad. Oh god, that's bad. <laughs> uh, whoops! Uh, we get rid of the stone. That's something at least. That saved me a couple of pounds. I have no stamina either. This is going to be a long walk back. <laughs> We're slightly overweight. The wood won't really matter. I'm 192 kilograms on a max of 126. Um, so the little bit of wood that I'm carrying is not consequential. Dropping it isn't going to save me. It's all the, the, the coal and the platinum ore and the aluminum ore. 
which is kind of weird because aluminum's not normally an ore, but whatever. Can you explore the roof holes in the caves? Well, if you go up above, uh, if you go into the hill above, you can actually find the hole that opens up into that cave. There's a single cave that has entrances in D10 and E11, hundreds of mining nodes. Oh, yeah. You're not overweight, you're just big. I'm not fat, I'm big bound. I want cheese babes. Hopefully, I'll run into a bear. <laughs> We're so heavy. Er, warm shower, cold apartment syndrome. Oh, that sucks. Those are the times you just never want to get out. Aluminum ore is bauxite. Yeah, aluminum is an ally, so you can't alloy, so you can't just uh, mine it as a raw ore. But in this game, apparently you can. <laughs> in Soviet Icarus, bear runs into you. Next time you go out without, uh, go out with you, take the advanced smell, do they work in caves? Yeah, well, I, I probably won't need to at this point, hopefully. So close yet so far. Wouldn't it be funny if like a big lightning bolt came down and hit the house while we're like slowly trudging back? <laughs> I'd be like, no! Walk faster. Oh, I'm gonna just start to get damage from exposure. <laughs> uh. Calling all bears, fresh fox, and he's going slow. There is one that wanders near here, but it, I haven't seen it come out actually where our house is yet. Just the other side of the water over there is the closest I've seen it. Made it. Okay. Uh, let's throw... Ooh, look at all the stuff we can make with it in here. Okay, let's throw the uh, platinum in here. Throw the aluminum in there, too. Here's the... Oh, actually, what does it take to make that next level bow? Tier 3. So the recurve bow... Oh, that actually, the recurve bow takes steel ingots. I haven't even gotten that bow. Never bound the compound bow, which actually requires something else. Uh, so the tier four bow would require—I'd have to make the uh, fabricator bench, which I'm probably not going to do tonight. But maybe we can make the recurve bow. I don't know if we're going to have enough steel for that, but we can see. Ooh, there's a pistol here too. I didn't even notice that. Shotgun. All right. Sweet. Uh, I needed to make, oh yeah, for, for the bullets I needed the, um, I needed the ingots. So I'll have 58 shots with the rifle, that's not too bad. This back over here. Dum, we got that. Uh, the rifle requires... A, oh, I'm short on steel ingots. Ah, crud. 
thought I had enough. Like, I still gotta get more iron. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right. Shoot. Thought we were finally gonna be ready to go out on our mission, but I gotta get more iron. So I'm not leaving without a gun. <laughs> Shotgun works great when the bears get a little too close. But yeah. I, I like the idea of killing the bear before it gets close enough to hit me, though. So I've kind of defaulted to using the rifle because of that. Um. Oh, uh, Nikes. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna um. I'm gonna go and grab some of the. Uh, oh, let's put this in here. I'm gonna go grab some ore. I'm not gonna bother bringing the smelters with me this time. Just added weight to carry. I'm gonna run out. We'll hit. Uh, we'll hit a cave. We'll get some iron. That should give me enough to finish what I need to for the mission. And then uh, we'll come back here. We'll smelt it. We'll be on our way. That way I can leave like all this stuff behind. I don't need to carry. Or not even smelt it. I guess I gotta. I can turn it. I don't even have to smelt it. I can just turn it directly into uh, steel bloom and then smelt that. Oh, I should fix my bow. Put the exotics in your ship. I, I need to. Yeah, but I I'm too far away right now. Uh, when we head back, so we're currently right here by this lake. We have to go here to get our mission item, which is the scanner that we're going to be using, which is going to take me by the ship anyway. So I'll drop off the two. Uh, like the pickaxe and the axe that we have that are like the 3D printed ones. Uh, and we can drop off the um, the exotic ore at the same time. Gonna make a spare suit for when I get eaten. <laughs> I probably have enough fur and stuff I could probably make a spare one if I die. It depends on where I spawn, I guess. I don't know where the next closest cave is. There, there might be one on the right-hand side. Or maybe I should check. Instead of going all the way to the lake, there might be a cave that's a little bit closer here on the right. Did you say there was a cave past the dropship? There is, yeah. Just trying to avoid running back and forth that way too far. Because it's, it's way over here. It's a bit more of a run. If I can find one that's right here, then that would be better. I don't think I'm going to, though. And I know there's one at the lake, but it's it's up here. Hmm. Maybe we'll go to the one by the dropship. Then we can drop off the exotics. I'll drop off those tools. I'll go and get... While we're down there, I'll also go and get the... Uh, the scanning device, because it'll show us where the points are we actually have to go to. I haven't even picked it up yet, so I don't know where we're going exactly. <laughs> no bait, he's doomed. Route row, we're doomed, Raggy. Oh, wait, I can't bring my backpack if I go that, that way. If I get the scanner. Uh, did you go to the one of the east wall south of the lake? Yeah, I did. That's the one we got. So we got the, the cave here. We've cleaned this one out. We've cleaned this cave out. There's another one at the lake up here I know of. There, um, and I know there's another one down here past the ship. So we're going to go to the one that's down past the ship, I guess. I'll have to leave the backpack here, unfortunately. If we're going to get the scanner. But we mostly just need the... Um, we mostly need the iron for a little bit more steel and then maybe some bullets, so I don't really need like an insane amount. No, god, I'm leaving all the stuff behind I was gonna bring. Yay, parasites! Everybody's friend. Where am I going? Uh, under the stairs. It's 
Save some wood. Would it be funny to go all the way down there and then realize I forgot to bring the stuff? <laughs> like, son of a gun. Only with more, uh... Expletives deleted. <laughs> I think you heard a bear. You probably did. There's a there's a bear that hangs out in this, uh... This little... I don't know what I want to call it. Little valley. Little channel. Whatever. Yeah. So this cave we cleaned out already. Oh, there's, there's platinum in there, actually. I could probably get the platinum, but I, I don't really need it right now. That was a boar, I heard. There's a beefalo! Is that style base a pain in the butt to repair during storms? Uh, it probably would be, yeah. Yeah, particularly since it's all made out of wood. If it, if I made it out of stone, it would not be an issue because it wouldn't take damage, but... Yeah. Having to repair both up and down when there's a storm wouldn't suck. We, we haven't really been having rough storms yet. They're coming. I think, like, as long as... Like, the longer you're in a mission, the, the greater the storms get, but... Okay, those are ready for liftoff. <laughs> Kill it with fire. <laughs> we had like three aluminum tip arrows, they're nice. Oh yeah. I've still just been using the bone arrows, but the upgrade will be nice, I guess. Nice, the cave's even open. I didn't even have to break my way in. my arrows. So this one's a small cave, but it does have a few iron nodes in it, which will give me pretty much everything I need, I think. Uh, I just want my arrow. Give me my arrow. There we go. Not too shabby. I'll have to like maybe spare a little bit of weight though when I'm carrying and stuff just in case. Cause I don't know how much the scanner weighs. Uh, can't see. I didn't get all of it, but it must be in the rock or something. Perfect. I use flint for the glacier. 100 iron ore for 100 arrows is pretty cheap, all things considered. It really is, yeah. I mean, the wolves die just as easily to the bone arrows as they do the flint ones, but... Excuse me. Oh, goody! Mining! Yeah, we've done a lot of it tonight. <laughs> we've been streaming for almost three hours, and I haven't even begun the mission. That's, uh... <laughs> the prep time is intense. I guess that's why they give you days to do it, so you don't have to, like, cram it all into one run. 
If you don't have like that much time you can dedicate, you can do it in like piecemeal kind of thing. I think we're good. I think I got pretty much all the iron out of here. Oh, there's one left. We're free! What time of day is it? 1700. Oh, I was not thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna wind up having to go back to the house anyway. No, maybe not. I might have enough time. How far away is that thing? It's not too far. Because I just realized I'm gonna run into the nighttime and that, that'll be a problem. Don't know why the stream's all shaky. Uh, I don't know. Shouldn't be jittery. The resources respawn, or is it a setup amount of each? It's, uh, they don't respawn. I, I think each cave has, like, a probability of a certain number of nodes in it or something. So when you come down to do a mission, you won't necessarily have the nodes in exactly the same place in the cave. I did drop off the gear, yeah. We've got just the, uh, just the ore on me. Love your vids. Cures my insomnia. <laughs> well, thanks, Mr. Papa Kuka. <laughs> glad you enjoy them, and I'm also glad they can help you sleep. I get that comment a lot about people falling asleep to my videos. <laughs> like, there's something about your voice. Uh, like, all right. Are you saying I'm boring? I think that's what you're saying. It's not far. It's got to be on that ridge, like, right up ahead of me. If we're lucky we won't bump into a polar bear on our way to get it. Lighting seems weird. No bears. No bears. There's a bear. Oh, it's at the bottom of this ridge. There it is. Got it. Who? 119.9. I'm point one away from being overburdened. <laughs> Why is it so cold? I've got the fur armor on. I'm getting frostbite. Don't find you boring at all. Ah, I'm just joking. It's fine. <laughs> that was rude. Can't. I guess I could have skinned it. I guess for the XP, but I can't skin it for the materials because I'm too close to being overburdened already. Oh, Fox, you just a shovel? I haven't unlocked the shovel, so I'm gonna go with probably no. If you have capacity left, you could grab some ice to make some clean water. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've got the water in the canteen. I'm not too worried about that. The parasites are the... It's a pretty minimal effect you get from it. Forgot my fur cod piece. Oh, is that what it is? Knew I was forgetting something. Oh no! You know what I didn't make yet? Wait, where's the scanning points? Oh my god, that's a long way. Um, you know what I didn't make yet is the uh, the stone bench. Or did I make it? 
I gotta double check. Because if I didn't make that thing yet, I still need to make that so I can get a portable building to bring with us. That's bare. Don't kill me now, bear. I got lots of stuff on me. There you are. I see you in the woods over there. Oh god, it sees me. It sees me. Oh, it saw me. Oh god. Oh god, so dead. Oh god, so dead. Run for it! <laughs> Cheese it! What do you think the odds are the thing's right behind me? Oh, wolf. Go away, wolf. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Ah. We're home, but I need uh, I need stuff to make sutures. Uh, leather. Why do you need leather to make sutures? I don't get that. Make a few of them. <laughs> I know I'm gonna need them. Uh, use it? There we go. Phew! God, that could have gone worse. Um, food. More food in my face hole. Uh, I need... Did I make the stone bench? I didn't make it yet! Oh! Okay, I need, uh... I'm gonna need to smelt some stuff. That's a nuisance. Oh, what'd I do? I threw it on the floor or something. Where'd it go? Where'd that wood go? That'll give me like 25 ingots. What do I need to make that crazy stone bench? Oh, I only need nails. Oh, that's not so bad then. Okay. I think, I think we'll be alright. I think I need to, I need um, ingots to make more bullets anyway, so we can put this in here. But I'd love to know where that wood went that I threw on the floor, because it seems to have vanished. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Activate. Wonder Twin Powers activates! And then in here, we're going to make Steel Bloom. Another 25. That's yeah, probably fine. Get cold because your canteen buff. Take it out when in the Arctic, in the woods, and on the... Oh! Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> I forgot about that. Minus 4% cold resist. I guess I could just have it on my belt, like in my backpack instead, right? Didn't even think of that. Two legs for stitching up the cut with the, the bone needles. Maybe. Maybe. Could be something like that, I guess. Found the wood. <laughs> it's about ended up on the stairs. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Not like this. I'm so close to having what I need. Not like this. Don't do it to me, game. Don't do it to me, game. Don't do it. Oh God, here. Oh God, what happened? How did that happen? Uh, I don't have the, the fire whacker. Oh god. Oh god, where's the fire whacker? Sticks and stones. Ah, there's sticks. Where's the stones? Where do we have stones? Somebody tell me where do we have stones? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. And a wolf. This is not, this is not how this is supposed to end. I got I gotta I gotta find stones.
There's no way I'm recovering from this. And this is why it's sometimes helpful to upgrade to stone. Come on. <laughs> it's all over, man. It's all over, man. the stairs get caught on fire? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, no. I need rain, not, uh, not lightning. Oh, this is so bad. Why, man? Just why? <laughs> Save him again! Save him again! I've got no stamina. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I was ready! All I had to do was make the rifle. I had the ammo made. I had everything. All I needed was a little bit more steel. Oh my god. interesting the railings don't burn they just fall off so everything that was con inside of a container is still here on the ground the trouble is oh my god the machining bench is here <gasps> Ooh, wait 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 uh i grab this stuff i grab all this stuff what else have i got here Concrete furnace didn't get very far. It also didn't break, though. So... Did I hear a whistling noise? <laughs> I thought I heard fireworks. It wasn't just so. It wasn't just me. That's good to know. Um. Okay, there's a stand torch. Let me exchange that with uh, uh, some rock. Can I do that? No, I can't. I can throw a rock on the ground. Oops. Uh, deploy. Okay, it's really dark out here. I don't have I don't have my bedroll or anything because the bedroll got destroyed. Oh, look at that. I got the crate and everything here, though. So I've still got my food. That's good. I 
I need wood. I gotta build a simple little structure that I can use to throw the machining bench into so I can finish making what I needed to. <laughs> oh my god. Ashley with a super chat. Finally some action. 10 out of 10 stream. Aw, oh, thanks Ashley for celebrating my demise. Ah, <laughs> oh, I have a feeling I got too close to that stand torch by the stairs. And I caught myself on fire, which got the stairs on fire. I, th I think that might have been what happened, because I can't think of how otherwise the in we would have had a fire inside. I might have enough stuff to... I can't even see. I might have enough stuff to make a bedroll if I can... Manage to get enough things together to build a little structure. I literally can't see anything here. This is terrible. <laughs> this is not really the circumstance you want to be, like, gathering wood in. If I run into a wolf, I'm in trouble. Okay. Let's go see what we can make. <laughs> Kyle with a super sticker. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah, but the roof wasn't on fire first, so I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know. Like, I, I can't see how it would have been lightning, but... Because it, it should have hit the outside of the building if that was the case. I don't know. All that building time lost. I wonder what the, the despawn rate is on the stuff that's on the ground. I need, uh, well, I don't need the fire whacker. We can toss that. <laughs> Should have had one of those made ahead of time, I guess. I think I sealed some stuff out of the floor, but that's okay. Uh, walls. I don't have enough wood. Okay, I fixed my machining bench. That's something. Uh, let's pick this one up. Deploy that over top. Does that count as being indoors? I wonder if it will. What do I need? Steel, epoxy, wood. What have I got? Well, I've got, uh, I've got steel. I've got platinum. I need a total of 40 steel ingots, though, which is going to be a problem. Although I do have the concrete furnace here as well. So if I can deploy this over here. I need more wood. <laughs> let's not... Let's maybe not leave this here, though. <laughs> oh, my lord. Wow, what a disaster. That's the worst. Uh, somewhere here I had a store. Yeah, there's a storage box. I can grab that. I can start to pick some things up. A lot of windows sitting on... Oh, there's my bedroll. Yes! What else have I got? Iron ingots. Hey, there's our fireplace. <laughs> Apparently the fireplace uh, survived, so that's alright. Lots of windows. Uh, wood floor. I need, um, shoot, I got too much stuff on me right now. Let's deploy my chest in here if I can. Gunpowder, screws, bullets. 
What's what I need for that rifle? Oxy, leather. Oops, shoot. It's what we call too stubborn to quit. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to throw in the towel. bed down so we can make it daytime. Daytime. Victory. Or something. What's here? Oh. Wait. Need that. Deploy the stone furnace if I can find room for it. Yes, there we go. I thought I had steel bloom here, so oh god, stuff's breaking. Pick it up, pick it up! Oh god! Okay, that won't work. Because this floor is not supported. Shoot. Yeah, I set my uh I set my bedroll with a save point, but it wouldn't matter at this point. If I died, it would just well, it probably would respawn me actually back closer to the ship, so it would matter a little bit, but... Okay. That should support the stone furnace now. Yeah, we're good. Okay, I need a little bit more steel. Um, somewhere here there was steel bloom, I thought. Thought I had found some. Did I put it underneath the base? Because that could be. That might be a thing I did. Nope. No, doesn't look like it. Lightning can strike through a house. Alright, well, apparently that's what happened because it, it got me good. I found a couple doors. Oh, oxygen bottles. <laughs> Those are important. Window. There's our cook station. Steel bloom. There we go. Mortar and pestle. Tell me this is indoor. Requires shelter. It's not in a shelter. Okay, so if I put. Uh, I just deploy this wall here. Now it's in shelter. Uh, it's breaking? Why is it breaking? No, don't! Oh god, no, give me this. Give me this! Oh god, don't break! Whew! Why was it breaking? What happened? It's gotta be that one corner that's not supported, maybe. God, give me that. There. Now it should be okay. Why? Why? I don't understand. It's un it's supported the same way as it was when I had it in the house. It's got beams all the way around it. Ah! Maybe they're just too close together or something? I don't know, but... Maybe, uh, maybe where I had it placed it was overlapping so it was touching two spots. Maybe if we put it in here. 
Nope. Immediately. It starts breaking. Uh... Missing a center beam on the other side, am I? No, I got it here. Oh, there's my backpack. <laughs> Not my backpack. Uh, no, it's right there. So I have I have three beams on this side, and I have three on the other side. It shouldn't be a problem, and yet it is. Isn't that a doozy? I just need a little bit more. All right, well, let's put my bedroll back in here for now. So I have a spawn point. Son of a gun. I swear to God. <laughs> What's cheap until it breaks all your stuff? Yeah, well, I was, I kind of was trying to avoid spending an overabundance of time gathering iron to make stone for my building. Because it just, it takes, uh, it takes a whole pile of iron for that, and then a whole pile of iron for the, all the stuff I wanted to make. I was like, if I could just race past it, and get out on my mission before that happened, then, uh, I wouldn't have to worry about it. Lo and behold. Turns out I have to worry about it. Player weights of factor two. Box columns are where it's at. You have stone to upgrade the floor. I, yeah, but I need the I need the bench that is for crafting stone pieces in order to make use of it, um, which doesn't work exactly. Um, what if I make the place bigger? What if it'll matter? <clears throat> Get rid of my uh, repair hammer, maybe. Actually, I'll get rid of this. Two more of these. I wonder if by placing the, the posts underneath afterwards, I wasn't really... It's not actually connected to the floor, possibly. Let's see what happens if I put it here. Because I had it side by side inside the house. It didn't have any problems with the weight when it was in there. I don't know. Killing me though. I just need like a little bit more steel and then we can go. Doesn't look like it's breaking. See what happens. Wonder Twin Powers activate. It's working. <laughs> what a pain in my butt, I swear. My lord. Uh, eight. I think there's a door. We cook up some carrots so we have those for our journey. I need epoxy though, so I gotta make that in my uh, in here. I gotta somewhere out here. There was a something that had the bone and things in it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm doing this. When life gives you lemons, cry a whole lot about it. That's my theory. Is that enough epoxy? Yes. Yes! We have rifle! Okay. 
I've got a little bit of ammo. Not a crazy amount of ammo, but a little bit. Um, I still have ingots left. I can make I can make more bullets. A rifle round or a rifle round? Why is there two different types of rifle rounds here? One's five times, one's regular. Oh, five rifle rounds for four of each. That's neat. Sure. Give me that. So I've got more than 100 rifle rounds available to me. That's good. Um, wait, I need these. Let's take that. I can leave this behind. I should probably bring the repair hammer. I probably don't need that. Don't need these. I will need food. Don't need bones. I will need wood. Give me, uh... Oh, there's more steel bloom in here. Can't believe you're doing this. We can't. Ah, uh, Mr. Big Ball Spot, thanks for the super chat. <laughs> uh, what a train wreck. What a train wreck. If I still finish this mission, it's, it's going to be a small miracle, I think. Um, give me this. Turn that into steel in the meantime. All right. I don't have a crafting bench. I have uh, I have a campfire at least. Are these cooked? Those are cooked. I can take my bed roll. What I don't have is the. Uh, I don't have the stone bench or a crafting bench. Crafting bench is easy enough to make, I guess, but I'll have to go with a wooden structure into the cold biome instead of a stone one, which might not handle the storm so well. But it'll have to do, I guess. Yeah, this is where the, uh, that's where the crafting bench was. <laughs> All right. Give me the carrots. Got fire, we got bed. I don't need these nails, they can stay here. Four floors and six walls will give me a box that I can live in. Uh, I can put a campfire down. I can put down bedroll. I won't be able to uh, stay really warm if it gets if we get a really bad storm, unfortunately. That take a little more time now to get there. There's no room, way to wood structure will work. I don't know. Like I don't know. I, I'd have to build. I'd have to build the stone bench, and I, I don't think I have enough iron for that even. What have I got? There's 20 iron in there. Because I used uh, I used some iron to make uh, more bullets, but... Uh, let me get these. I've been in the cold, in the, uh, the cold biome with... Um, with a wood structure before. I camped out in caves instead, though, for the most part. If I take the stand torch, that adds as, as another fire or another heat source too. Yeah, I'll just have to make sure I don't I don't hang I don't dilly dally too much. I guess. Um, let's put uh, that there. That there. Where's my rifle? All right, let's give it a whirl. I mean. <laughs> I kind of blew everything as it is already. Let's see if we can get the mission done and get out this horrible rock. First scan points there. There's one good cave there, but it still gives pneumonia. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be at risk of pneumonia anyway, but... Let's make sure I got what I need. 
But I have food, I have fire, I have shelter, I have ammo, I have oxygen. So it's, it's not super ideal, but I have to make do. Let me get this down here. Oh god! Really? Why there? Does this work with polar bears too? Stupid bear. Give me that. God! It does work! Running towards the bear does work! It's just, uh... Huh. Does that work on polar bears also? Oh god. No, oh, I didn't go fast enough. Oh, wolf! God. It's gonna go like this, is it? <laughs> I can't even get anywhere now. Progress is halted. Oh, Lord. Crafting. I need bandages. I gotta get a little bit more of the, uh... Give me back my arrow, you jerk. <sighs> Craft. Always look on the bright side of life. Need to heal now. Oh boy, jumping off a cliff doesn't work with a polar bear. We know that at least. Yeah, they uh, they swat you from behind and you just go soaring through the air like a flying trapeze artist without a net. Good times. I was past him. Stupid like bear. Why are there so many bears? <laughs> there weren't this many before. As soon as I decide I'm gonna go do my thing, that's when all the bears show up. Yeah, we'd never celebrate your death. Nope. Nope, definitely not. Never happen. I wanna ride on the deer. They go faster than I do. Another bear. Nope, wolf. Stupid wolf. The, the infamous bear butt attack. <laughs> I can't believe how many bears we've just run into in the, like a short span of time. I've gone up and down that path a bunch of times on this stream. And now we start running at all the bears. It's, yeah, it is unbearable. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm far enough away from that guy. What time of day is it? 11.55. Probably spawn a new bear each time. Yeah, probably. As I've been killing stuff, they've probably been respawning. The worst part is I'm probably going to have to defend the scanners also. Which is just going to be great. I did not unequip my canteen, thank you. Oh crud. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I might be able to kill it from here with a rifle, but I, I won't get it one shot. So I'd have to get a headshot as a sneak attack, and then when it turns to come at me, I gotta get a second headshot to have any any chance of killing it before it gets to me. <sighs> Do it, yeah. It's gotta be crits. Like it's gotta be all crits. I think you'll I think you'll hear me. Don't wake up there. Just don't wake up there. Well, you got the you got the crit for the sneak attack where you get like two and a half times your regular damage for the headshot. But then after that, if you can get all the headshots, it you you know it, you get the uh, it pops up the yellow hit. Whatever that is, it does 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 better damage anyway. There's our first scan point. Don't spawn bears on me. Please don't spawn bears on me. This zone's hot. So a little advice. If it moves, kill it. Oh god. Oh, running through it didn't work. With the machine. Can you fire it back up? Oh! Uh. It's like sleeping right, right next to my body. That's just insult to injury. <laughs> Hold F to respawn. Yeah, <laughs> bears like I sleep on corpse. <laughs> this mission is going so bad. We were on a roll of everything getting set up, and I blew it. Wow. Oh, good. Oh, great. This is... This is perfect. I'm sure this is fine, right? It's a little stormy weather. Oh, good, and I've got... <laughs> I've got feeding, too. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, yeah, broke a leg. Happy Murphy's Day. Son of a gun. If it ain't ass, everything went awesome to it. Yeah, sure did. Couldn't be better. <laughs> I don't think I can even get to my body if I'm going to try. I'm pretty sure I'll freeze to death before we get far enough in to get to it. I think my luck is running out. I think this might be a failure tonight. Well, the barrel wander off, but the trouble is I'm bleeding from the bear injury because I respawned with an injury. 
because this game's great that way. I have a broken leg, I have no cold weather protection, and I have to run far enough to get to my body before I bleed out so I can use one of the suture kits I have on me. And I don't have any food on me to heal even, so... This would be great. My stamina bar is really low. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. You'll be fine. Everything's awesome. It's great. Fabulous. And even though we got the freezing icon, I'm not, I'm not taking damage yet, I guess, on it. That's something. How am I going to deal with this bear? I tried running towards it and it didn't work. <laughs> it just hit me anyway. Oh, I got double snowflakes now. Look at that, I'm a double snowflake. Run towards it faster. Take it all. Uh, okay, oxygen. Oh, good, it actually equipped everything for me, so that's good. Oh, good, I got the bug. That's healed, at least. Where's my canteen of water? Oh, there it is. Down here. Okay. Um, I need to heal. Get some food into me so I get my buffs up. Oh my god, I gotta fix this. <laughs> Sure it is. So, I guess the bear left after killing me, and so it didn't get summoned back again. That's handy. No, hold X to pick up. First one's complete. On to the second one. Good lord. I was cheating. You need to have the bear back. It already killed me once. What do you need? <laughs> uh, second one's down here. Even after we scan all these things, I'm still going to have to get all the way back to my ship. Still getting that weird uh, graphical bug a little bit. Don't turn around. Just don't turn around. Rip its gonads out via throat. <laughs> and that's what we'll do. Alright, it's far enough away. We're good. He's far enough. We're moving.
I don't even have... I'm not even going to look for exotics out here this time. We could be looking in the crevices for exotics we could mine, but... After how this mission's gone, I just want to get off this rock. It's like a big cave over there. You cure the bear's insomnia. Great! Wait a minute, does that mean it's sleeping now? Because I'd be okay with that. Better than giving it insomnia. Uh, it's a ridge line. It's a safe, uh, safe cave. No worms. Oh, really? Scanner for this one. Yeah, I'm gonna be looking at exotic cracks. What? <laughs> this is the alternative family channel. It's not the uh, it's not the regular family channel. Where is this thing? Oh, it's gonna be on that. There's like a frozen lake down here. That's why I'm running. Station activated. Yeah, the bears can't climb, we promise. This zone's hot. So a little advice. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Moves, Don't be bears. Kill it. Don't be bears? Those are wolves. Looks like the unit stopped. Get it back online or you're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, we got wolves this time. Those are more manageable. There you go. Stations online. Do auxiliary items stack? Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, if you made, like, two of the 5% speed increase things and you had two slots in your suit to be able to use them but there's more to do check your map for the next zone all right uh next one is here maybe the next one will be the mammoth yeah that's what i need next one will be like a giant ice worm or something to be better off with the upgraded bow. Potentially. I mean, the rifle is really great, but... I don't know. I gotta get the yeah, the whole bear dodging thing down. It worked fine with the uh, with the grizzly bear, but... Clearly, I, I need to not panic as much with the polar bear and do it properly. Weather incoming. Minor winds approaching. Uh, 
All right. Hopefully it'll be enough to keep me warm. <laughs> As I catch myself on fire again. That'd be great. Yeah, I mean, well, I'll have the hammer ready, but um, this one was a minor wind. It wasn't like a, a big wind storm, so we'll see what happens. Cave is safe in the rock face to your north. Like, north of where I am now? Is there there's a cave along here somewhere? Oh, there's something marked on here. That's a, oh, this is my name. <laughs> That's a cave something, but it's a cryptic box. Have I seen the movie Unforgiven? Um, probably. It's been a long time, though. So streaming, I thought you finished after the house fire. I uh, I didn't want to give up. I, I sort of scrabbled together enough pieces to make the steel I needed to finish my rifle. And then I had all of my travel equipment aside from the stone building I intended to make to come with me. So I brought a wood one instead, and we'll see if we manage to survive with it, but... So far, we got killed by a polar bear already, though, and I had to run back in. When you put down the first scanning thing, there's a polar bear that shows up. We're still alive, though. For now. You missed the house fire? It'll be up, so the stream will be saved as a recording on the channel after the stream ends. You'll be able to find it there, but I don't know what happened, whether it was a lightning strike that came through the house and hit the stairs, or if I I touched a standing torch and caught myself on fire and lit the floor on fire. I don't know what it was, but it it, it was it was messy. But I don't think I was on fire, because when I ran out of the house, it, it didn't seem like I was burning, but... Proud of his mistakes, it makes things very fun. Yeah, right as we were like, right at around the, the normal like three hour mark for when I would have ended a stream, I caught the whole thing on fire. Good times. It was you, there was no lighting. Yeah, I don't know. I, I could hear the lightning hitting, but maybe not the house. Yeah, it was only the stairs that were on fire. It was weird. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't know what I did. I had, yeah, that's what it was. I had beans for dinner and things happened. Why am I got this? Frostbite, you're freezing and suffering frostbite. Speed and stamina regenerate heavily reduced. Counter with heat bandages. Why do I have frostbite? I guess I was out in the wind too long. Um, so the heat bandage requires fiber oxide and charcoal. I mean, charcoal I can get from the fire easy enough. We have that now, but I'll have to get some oxide. I bet I got frostbite on the way to get my body. Oh, it's actually wearing out on its own. Did you put your bed down? Yeah, but I'm going to be picking all this up and moving on. It's only, it's, well, 1745. I want to get closer. Frostbite greater than polar bear bite. <laughs> yeah. It is going away, though. Got to build a ramp to the top of the hill. That would be so bad, because I don't have fiber on me. I've got 23 fiber. I didn't bring enough. Oh boy. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, take the charcoal.
Who needs fingers and ears anyway? That's right. I heard those were overrated. Where am I gonna go here? Left or right? Clearly left. Platforming up that cave? I, I just still don't know what cave you're talking about. Stamina depleted. What time is it? Uh, 18.35. So I can sleep and make it daytime again. Campfire. Saw the ridge, uh, saw the crest ridge in the middle of N. Like, are you talking like right up here? Or back here? I don't know, but I've got to get over to here. I gotta get to L14 or whatever. <gasps> oh, come on. I moved a tiny bit and it, it started to see me. Keep moving on, bear. Keep moving on, bear. <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Oh my god. Does anybody get fiber in this uh, in this biome? <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, it smelled foxy rune. That's what it was. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! That was a little closer comfort. You gotta fight eventually when I start now. Well, I don't necessarily have to. Is this last one out of the cold biome? What's with the trees down here? It's a semi gold biome. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, fiber. That's not fiber. That's fiber.
All right, well, we have five. Really oh, it's right ahead of me. Oh. I've been up this way before. That's weird. Um, it's so the scan point is like right here somewhere. This is where so when we were playing the other day, we had the bear kill me multiple times. It was here. Is, am I gonna get on top of this rock? Where the heck is the scan point? I don't see it. Look up. Yeah, I gotta get on top of that thing? I don't see it. I don't see it marked up there, but. I'm assuming I can't just climb up on my own. Uh, how many of these can I make? Don't die. I'll try not to. Before I trigger this thing, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna set a respawn point. Uh, zero. This is the place. You know what <laughs> that was a bad idea. I thought I could rush it. Turns out not. Uh, I'm a little bit short. I can't make it. I need more wood. Because I broke that one. It's nice that they give me trees here, as given I have to climb up. Because otherwise that would suck. Okay, uh, I'm gonna set a spawn point over here. So at least if I die, I've got something relatively nearby. Boy. Oh, come on. Give me that back. What's going on? I can't pick it up. What? That's weird. For some reason, this piece right here I can't pick up the way I normally would. That's so weird. I didn't even need to make another one. I already had these. Whatever. All right. Let's see what happens. What piece? We all see a rock surface. There was a wall there. It was like a wood wall stuck in the in the rock. Sharp. 
What party? Where did it starty? Looks like the unit stopped. Get it back online. Did I kill that thing with one hit? There you go. Stations online. I guess it was a wolf. I thought that was a bear down there. Or can I get? If I go around this way, the scan's finished. I wonder if I can get all the way back around without having to go through the snow. Black station. Well, friend, you done down there? Sure looks like it from here. Darn right, I'm getting out of here. Ow! <laughs> I broke my leg. It's a really long way around. Yeah, it does look it. Yeah. I'm gonna, uh... I don't know. I guess I should, uh, bring this with me. I can't pick up this piece either. I guess once you embed them in rock, that's it. Go into a cave and use the unstuck command. I don't want to cheat it. I get that that probably works, but I really don't want to cheat it. Uh, consume. Just in case. Where's Fox going? I gotta get back to my dropship so I can get back into orbit and collect my reward. Fun fact, polar bear skin is black and their fur is white. But a clear hollow? What? Oh, there's a bear right there. Hopefully there's one on that side, it means I won't bump into one on this side for a bit. Hopefully. Fight polar bear, maybe that's not cheat. <laughs> yeah, oddly enough, that would uh, that would accomplish the same outcome pretty much, wouldn't it? Because we already have the stuff in the ship that we need. I don't have to go anywhere else. I just got to get back to the ship and get off this rock. I just like to do it the legitimate way if possible. <laughs> Polar bear fur is kind of like fiber optics. Transfers. Oh, really? That's cool. Please, Mr. Bear. The fox is running away. There's, there's more bears though. I wasn't the only bear. I don't like that this one's going the same way as me. What level I'm? I'm 32, but I, I lost a lot of XP when uh, the polar bear killed me. So the red bar at the top left there is the the XP that I lost that I'm now working on recovering. What the heck was that? I didn't get a weather warning. Why is there this booming thunder? Gotta be worried about avalanches. It's a polar bear fart. That yeah, sounds about right. Oop, don't fall off the edge. Oh, I think that's the cave over there you were talking about, right? That one right there. So it's like clear of worms or whatever.
Bear has a fox rifle. <laughs> I haven't seen any exotics out here either. Yeah, <laughs> what cliff? <laughs> I didn't bring my parachute, so we had to take the safe way down. Is it a new survival game uh, or something of the sort? Yeah, it came out uh, a few weeks ago now, I guess. I don't remember exactly what date it came out. Now that I think about it. Um, yeah, it's called Icarus. It, it's kind of a... It is a survival game, but each um, but each time you play, you have an objective where you you take a prospecting mission to come down to this planet and, like, survive and try to complete the mission to get, like, a, a reward. I thought I would look over here just to see if there was exotics in this depression, but... All that's in this depression is my depression. You're just looking at it, you teeth. There's probably, uh, probably exotics in that cave, too, right? That's a shame. December 4th is when it came out. Thank you. But yeah, it is a survival game. It's a bit unique in the sense that, like, each time you come down to the mission, you're starting fresh. So you end up having to, like, build all of your all of your survival stuff from scratch each time you play. You know, all you get to keep is your, characters, uh, your character level with your skills and stuff. And so you're constantly having to start fresh. No, look at exotic holes. That's what leads to losing a channel. <laughs> Yeah. In thick, the exotic holes. I mean, we found one, uh... I did find one thing of exotics. In that one cave we were in, but... I was hoping we'd get a little bit more before we left. Oh, yes. No, we crevice. There could be some down there, but... I don't want to get stuck. Imagine making a base in that depression. not to fall in a giant crack. Big bear. Almost turned into that one movie. <laughs> yeah. Why, when you have to be killed, the game starts to be peaceful? <laughs> to say no to exotic crack. But I need it. I need the exotic crack. I think I overdid it with the bullets a little bit. I still have 101 bullets left. <laughs> Can't see down there very well.
No, I'm stuck. And no exotics. I had to step away, I come back, and you burnt your house down? I totally did, Barry. Uh, it, uh, yeah, it was a giant flaming wreckage. Uh, just as I was getting ready to be able to leave for our, to actually try to complete the mission we were trying to do. Oh, no stamina. I was just about ready to leave for the mission. Didn't the house catch fire and burn to the ground? <laughs> and I didn't have a fire whacker made, and then I didn't have the materials to make the fire whacker, so I had to try and go make some quick. But I couldn't save the house, the fire spreads too fast. That'd be a sweet base area down in the uh, in the crevice? That'd be kind of cool, yeah. Not a lot of building space down there, though. Environmentally, it looks cool, though. No, I think everybody at least burns their house down at least once. Well, that's um, that's at least my second time. <laughs> the uh, the first time I played the game, I had set my campfire next to my next to my bedroll, and I had left it burning when I went out to do something. And when I when I was out, I died, and I I respawned on my bed, but it put me next to my bed, so I was standing right on top of my campfire when I respawned in, and so I I caught fire. And uh, once you're on fire, it spreads to it spreads to wooden structures you're standing on. So the whole thing just went up in like a giant bonfire. It's good times. We're almost out. Did you drop your torch in the water in a cave again? That was quickly. Yeah, yeah, that was great too. Many mistakes. So many mistakes. And I, the worst part was I didn't have enough to make another torch, so I was like, I was like, how am I gonna get out of here? I can't see anything. <laughs> Fire Triss of Follytude, yeah. yeah. That's pretty much what it was. Okay, we're out of the cold biome. We did it. As long as I don't get killed by a bear now on the way to my ship. <laughs> I'm back. House Fox doing it. Uh, we got the mission done. There was a lot of running in the in the cold and the snow, but we only fought one bear and lost. Killed a few wolves. Not too many. We're good. We're going on a killing spree. I've got a lot of bullets. I really could shoot a lot of stuff right now. I made way too many bullets. I have a hundred left. <laughs> but we made it! After burning my house down, we still managed to complete the mission. Oh my god. What a hot mess. Man, I was sure we were done for when the uh, when the house burned down, and then when that bear got me, I was like, "Okay, it's 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 so over." <laughs> I didn't pick up my pickaxe; it's in the ship. I left it behind. Uh, all right. So that gave us some monies. Where's my exotics? Claim reward. I got sixteen exotics. Okay, so we got a little bit. It wasn't a lot. Wasn't a lot, but we got a little bit of exotic. So we got 375 now, plus the 80. Uh, if we go into the workshop, the thing I was trying to unlock is the canteen here that I can bring with me. Uh, so I'm gonna research that. So I don't have to waste steel making a canteen. Craft one, two, that'll cost me 50. That leaves me 125 left over. I kind of would like to get another suit or something. The, uh, the the gear up here is like 300 to unlock those. I haven't been using a spear at all, so I'm not even going to bother getting the spear. Uh, I don't know that there's much benefit to making the knife either, because that's not really going to speed anything up. It's just a skinning thing. I mean, oh, you get 150% yield from skinning. That might actually be all right. 
Uh, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the knife too. Why not? Okay, so now in my loadout, I've got uh, the canteen and my knife. Score. All right, it uh, took me a lot longer to finish the mission than I wanted to, uh, since it was just a folly of errors once we got everything set up. But we did complete it successfully. We got our money. We got a little bit of exotics. Oh, and we didn't get stranded on the surface, so not bad, not bad. But uh, thanks so much, everyone, for coming to hang out tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you all for the super chats this evening as well. Very generous of you. Uh, if you don't currently subscribe to the channel, click on the subscribe button. Come and watch me burn down another house. <laughs> I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.